everyone, and welcome back to PlayStation Access. I'm Rosie, and in the magical streaming voice void, I am joined by the lovely Rob. Hello, the voice void. <laughs> the voice void of the Rolling streaming room. Now it's the voice void. The voice void, of course. And this is a very exciting stream. We're going to have a bit of a Thursday afternoon party. It is Thursday today, isn't it? It is Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is Thursday. We're going to have a bit of a party because in the UK, the new PlayStation Plus service has launched. Hooray! Woo! Woo! Which is woo -woo -woo, very, very exciting. And because of this, and because we're so excited, we're going to do an extra long special stream just for you, showcasing some of our favourite games which have come to the service. Uh, for example, you might see... Um, around me, three. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing a PlayStation One classic. I'm playing. Um, Dis it's like Disney slash Pixar, Toy Story Two, Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. To give so it its full title. To give it its full title. Not Kingdom Hearts Three. Just to clarify. <laughs> that, was a joke. that was a very funny joke. To be fair, just before the stream, Rob was like, "Yo, it's like you're playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh man, but um, also hello everyone in the chat. Hello to Jake Allen, Lorenzo, RD Clark, Shane, Alex, and hello to Toby, Poshima, Stevie Houdini, K Bray, War Warriner. Hello, Buzz Lightyear as he speaks as I'm saying hello to everyone. And our wonderful moderators who is Alex, who is behind the PlayStation Access account, Domino and Oliver Barr. Thank you so much for moderating. Hello to you all. Hello. Welcome to our fun day. We should also mention, Rosie, that we would love everyone watching and everyone at home uh, to join in with our PlayStation Plus celebration day. Uh, if you have got the new PlayStation Plus, if you've downloaded some new games, either on the Essential, Extra or Premium tiers, share a screenshot with the hashtag PS Plus Party. And when we switch over, Rosie's going to play for an hour, no then Ash is going to play for an hour. <laughs> Then I'm going to play for an hour. Uh, when we switch over, we're going to share some of your screenshots and comments. Woo! Yeah, just for like the smooth little transition. But I thought Buzz was eager to go, Rob, so I've just started moving yes. away. Do you know what, Rosie? I think I've played this. Yeah? I had no memory of it until you started doing this. And this music... It's like I locked something in my brain. <laughs> I've definitely played this. Well, the music in this game genuinely is really really good i mean i'm really I'll, i'm more likely going to finish level one because level two has got a banger of a soundtrack when you're in uh like your neighborhood gardens and stuff but i'm just i mean i should probably say the reason why i chose to stream this is because a i love this game to pieces and um that i grew up with it played it for hours and multiple times uh, it's genuinely a brilliant game and i just really love how playstation included it in the plus service so i thought yes Thank you for including this fantastic game in your service. I want to show the world how good it is. <laughs> We're getting lots of comments, Rosie, saying you're very loud and I'm very quiet. So I'm just going to do a little twiddle. Um, oh, sorry. That's probably my, my speaking as well. I'm very excited. How's that? I'm super quiet, apparently. Now I'm, I'm really peeking in my own ears now. Um, how does that sound, people at home? How is that? <laughs> how is, is that this? any better? Oh, no. I can't remember how to... Hang on. There we go, got that one. And I will keep on talking until... Oh, look at... I forgot that. You can see Buzz's reflected face. Yeah, look at it. It's in so his good. Helmet. And he's doing his little, his little like, focusing eye, one eye down. I come in peace. Like, genuinely, this game really does make you feel like a toy. Everything around you, your whole environment, even these other toys who are like, you know, being little menaces, everything just makes you feel like a toy. You know, apart from the fact you actually have laser bullets, but you know, ignore that part. <laughs> you have actual lasers. Your Buzz finally has actual lasers. Actual lasers. Oh, I used to love Rex here. He used to make me laugh so much because he doesn't say Buzz normally. He kind of screams it in a very demonic way. <laughs> <laughs> But he was Buzz. So but Rex usually kind of gives you hints and stuff as to um, like what to do, or maybe there's. I, I believe as well he might say like hints as to where some of the collectibles are, um, because there's many things you can collect in these levels. Yes, yeah. lots of coins. Lots of oh yeah, well lots of coins which you want for Ham the Pig. <laughs> Bang. Yeah, Bang. I remember it. I remember that. Well, the Bang. Yeah. I'm so happy that I'm I, like awakening a, a memory that yeah, you didn't have. I never knew I played this game. And I definitely did. I definitely had this game. I think I remember getting just very stuck on it and not really knowing where to go. And oh, not really? Getting, and not getting very far. 
To be fair, I used to get really stuck on a... There was a boss in this game called, like, Slime Time or something. And it also used to terrify me. It was, like, in the garbage area. And um, it was just this big, toxic waste in the bins that you have to fight. And it used to, A, scare me. And I just used to find it really, really hard. So that was something I think I got my brother to do. I see. Because I was... It was too hard for me. Oh, I should Oh, that looks difficult. I should have done a single jump rather than a double. God, I remember this music. Alfie says, retro games! Of course I was going to do a retro game. There we go. He's his buzzes swing. A little battery. No time to lose. And I love it as well. It's like... I agree, Rosie. I 100% agree. The situation of, you know, you don't use the right stick to move the camera. It's L2 and R2. Which to me always makes me think of like the classic right. PlayStation games. Uh, some people are saying in the comments that this was included on the, the official PlayStation Magazine demo disc, this level. So maybe that's what I played. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe that's what I played. There we go. Got the sheep for Bo Peep. Let's see if I remember how to do this boss really easily. There was a way I remember doing it very easily, but let's see if I can remember. Uh, da -da -da. Turtle Eleven says, "How many games are there on PS Plus? Many. Um, the best way to check them all out is to go to the PlayStation blog. Uh, they've got like a full list of all of the games available, both to stream and download, on all three tiers of PlayStation Plus. It's very exciting." Come here, Tin Robot. What's everyone playing in the comments? Is anyone? Is anyone? Did anyone get up this morning? And uh, in the UK, obviously, other other countries have had the new PlayStation Plus for a while, uh, especially if you're in the US. Um, but did anyone get up this morning and like download a bunch of classic games? I mean, I know Alex got up and immediately played Tekken 2 this morning. Yeah, he was fun. I was very happy because while we were installing the games for this stream, I went on to Ape Escape and I saw, oh, friends who have already played it. And I saw Alex's name immediately popped up and that made, I was like, yes, Alex. Yeah. That's how to do it. Indeed. Um, <clears throat> I should probably say as well, I was going to do Ape Escape. However, there might be something coming up in the future of the channel. Yeah, Rosie's... Don't worry, Rosie has for not forgotten about I Ape Escape. I have not forgotten about Ape Escape. Um, obviously, there are so many good games on the on the service. Um, not just like old classic retro games as well, but really good, exciting, modern, new games. So, um, Returnal is there. Mm. Guardi Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is there. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, I think... There we go. Uh, one of the underappreciated and underrated gems of, of last year. I say underrated. It was rated very well, but um, I think more people should play it. It's reminded me of um, Batman Arkham games when that came out, and it, they sort of surprised everyone by how good they were. Yeah. Really, I would really recommend giving uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy a go if you haven't played it yet. I know. I really need to play it. I keep on looking at it thinking, oh, yeah, I really need to pick that up. Yeah. Returnal. Returnal's so good. If you've not played a ter Returnal yet, you've got to play it. Whoop. I want to get Dead Redemption 2's there. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah, there's so many huge games God as well. Death Stranding and Death Stranding Director's Cut. So many games. Yeah. So many video games. Woo! And of course, meanwhile, all these brilliant games, and I, little old Rosie just went in and was like, mm, tell me about the classic games. Yes. Look at all the classic games. So if you're just joining us, we're going to be playing three games available on the on the new PlayStation Plus service, which has launched today in the UK. Um, Rosie is playing Disney Pixar's Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. Buzz, 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 Buzz Lightyear buzz, to the buzz, Rescue. Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. <laughs> oh, no, go on, I want that battery. Let me reenact oh, Toy Story 1. That. Got yeah. it. God. This reminds me of like old school games. Like if this was a modern game, like Buzz would just stick to that railing, right? And you'd just be able to smoothly go down. Yeah, you'd like grind down yeah. it or something. In the old days, it's all about precision and platforming skill. Um, this game available on the premium tier, I believe. PlayStation Plus Premium. Yes. Whoop. Okay. I want to get those coins. So I don't want to go see Hamlet yet because I believe I need... It's either 50 or 100. Actually, yeah. you know what? Let's just ask him because he goes, Buzzy boy! Cabbage Savage has rightly pointed out that Demon Souls is also on, on PlayStation Plus now as well. PS5, Demon Souls. What a game that I still am nowhere near finishing. 
Which game's that? Sorry, I was listening. Demon Souls. <gasps> yes. I'm still on the Tower Night, Rosie. You've you can... platinumed it, right? No, I haven't platinumed it. I keep on coming back to it here and no. there to like just casually because it's it's a lo bunch of really fun challenges. So every now and then I'll just tune in again. But uh, it's just because Elden Ring took over everything, and I didn't. I was just like, right, yeah. that's my From Software title for Elden now. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. D3 Ring. Mystic <laughs> is presuming a lot there. He's like, Ash will play a horror game and Rob will play a JRPG. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just wait and find out? So presumptuous. All right, what would you, what, everyone in the you're chat? Right. You're, you're right, T3 Mystic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's not. <laughs> they are. He's right. He, no. <laughs> um, wrong. <laughs> Quickly change all the games. We could install something else. To be fair, we have also installed Tekken 2, just in case, you know, we have time for maybe a little fight we later. We might have on. a fun little game to end the stream, Tekken 2. Tekken 2 is just such a classic. Yeah, I was playing it while testing it earlier, like testing the streaming and stuff earlier, and I was like, oh, yes, taken two at my convenience. Um, do I go in the kitchen first, or let's go down in the basement first, so I can see Mr. Potato Head. We One-armed gambit says, I'm still on the tower night as well, Rob. Sad face. Then lol. Um, we can we can start a club, one-armed gambit. The tower people night who club. never got past the tower night. <laughs> we can be the founding members. There's Mr. Potato Head. Where's his ear? Well, I've, the thing, I found his ear in the living room, so already I can help him out. Boom. Why is there toxic stuff all over the floor? So, well, you, you mean you don't have toxic waste in your basement leaking out of the I cardboard boxes? I don't have a basement. Or in a room. Hey, Buzz! <laughs> hey, Buzz! Hey, Buzz! Honestly, my favourite line in this is, yeah, it's Rex's Buzz! Buzzy boy, <laughs> and uh, probably my favourite favourite is Bo Peep, who will come across in the kitchen. Right. She fully goes, "Can you find my sheep?" And it's, I just find it absolutely hilarious. I love it. Is Woody in this game? Um, he is, but he's in the later levels. Cause uh. So, you, for those of you who don't know the premise of Toy Story 2, let's just say Woody's <laughs> not around. <laughs> for uh, is it, he's oh not yeah, of course. This is this is like runs parallel to the events of the movie. Yeah, so this is it's, this is the film. Um, but, That's exactly you know, what they did. The, <laughs> these toys, birds jumping around, all the toxic waste. All the toxic in it. waste. All these Andy's like deadly toys trying to get him. I mean, you know. why has Andy got some like baddie toys? For Zer no, Zerg is in the shop at the moment. Nah, are they like Zerg's minions. They're yeah, they're sheep. like Zerg's even minions. I think actually, no, I need to go in the, uh, the uh, middle of the oh. boxes. Whoop. But um, yeah, so that's why Woody's not around so much because uh, from the events of the film, Woody and Buzz aren't with each other that much. But luckily, as well, this is one of those situations where, with a lot of um, games on, like you know, Disney interactive game, uh, games and stuff, they showed you little snippets of the film. Um, like you know, some things were slightly different, like the voice acting was slightly different in some areas, but you did see those little snippets, so you could piece together the story still. But this game's great because it adds to, like, you know, there's a level in the airport later on. There's... I love the airport pit. Mm, so yeah. exciting. There's loads of stuff they've added just to just to add to the game. It's, it's, it's just a very good game, Rob. What's your favourite Toy Story movie, Rosie? Uh, probably the first one. Yeah. I'm, I, I mean, I love Toy Story. I, Toy Story is very special to me, especially one and two. Um, so that's... I just love them. Even when I, I was poorly recently and I put on Toy Story 2 because my boyfriend was also poorly and we just wanted a, a comfort film so I just put on Toy Story 2. Had an absolutely fantastic time. Yeah. It's such a good film. Oh, there we go. It's a dangerous world out there. For a <laughs> for toy. A toy. <laughs> <laughs> There's that heartbreaking bit, isn't it? When Jesse recounts her, her past. With Emily. Mm. Emily was just the same. <laughs> She was my whole world. <laughs> I do the thing as well with Toy Story 1. I'm not, I haven't tried with Toy Story 2 where um, we like to mute the film and then I just quote it. <laughs> I bet you can. I've watched them so many times, 1 and 2. <laughs> well, if the boot fits. Say, say that, that again. If the, the boot <laughs> fits. <laughs> okay, cowboy. <laughs> it's really good. People are 
people are arguing about Final Fantasy in the comments. Who would have thought? Where Alex was, has, where's that come from? Alex has come in and like spoken like a naive fool who played Final Fantasy X first. He's claimed that Final Fantasy X is the best Final Fantasy. It's, it's I love Final Fantasy X, but I, I wouldn't say it's the best. Definitely not. All of the Final <laughs> Fantasy... Well, not all of them. Final Fantasy VII, VIII, IX, X, slash ten two. 12, the Zodiac mm -hmm. Age, and 15, the Royal Edition, are all on PlayStation Plus. They are. So what a prime time to get your Final Fantasy, yeah. Final Fantasy knowledge and your Final Fantasy fixes. Ash hates it, but we're going to make her play a Final Fantasy game soon on stream. Yes. She is going to have her mind changed. Ooh. There we go. Well, I remember you, you were the one who told me to play Final Fantasy IX. As soon as I told you I played 7 and 10 and you asked if I played nine, you were fully like, you have to play this right now. Nine's amazing. Oh, I have to. Yeah, no, nine has become one of my favorite games ever. Uh, right, I'm going to go see Ham while he's around and about. Yeah, I can hear, is that Bo Peep? Yeah, she's... Buzz. she's hey, Buzz. See, she has like a really nice, like, hey, Buzz. But wait until we talk to her. Way to go, Buzz. Way to go, Buzz. I like there's another level as well when he goes, ah, that's the ticket. Here you go, Buzzy Boy. And I loved how he called him Buzzy Boy as a kid. Get that uh, planet token. I haven't even kind of explained what you do in this game. It's, um... You jump around. Yeah, it's like a, collect a collect-a-thon platformer where you've got your levels, you've got little challenges and things that you can do throughout the level to create, uh, collect pizza planet or pizza tokens. Um... So and obviously the more of those you get, the more levels you unlock and then you can progress and just have a, an overall yeah. very good jolly time. Everything about it is so... Like that, that this era of gaming, the uh, sort of mid to late 90s, there's something just so sort of magical about it. For me anyway, just like all the memories it sort of brings back. Just the way games were structured back then as well. Yeah. Like the we don't really thrill get... you'd feel when you when you find something sort of secrety in a game like this, because this is in an age where you know you can just go up and you can just look up a YouTube walkthrough or anything like that. Mm. If there were walkthroughs, they were those like big chunky text-based FAQs. Did you ever read any of those, Rosie? I did. I used to have. I was more of a, a reader of cheat books, and then sometimes they had like I little hints like as to what to do and stuff. Be. But mainly, I just carried on playing it until my brother did it, and then I'd be like, Jim, how did you do this? Ooh. I wasn't much of a reader as a kid, unless it was codes. Okay, right, here's Bo Peep. Are you ready for her? I'm ready. So. Can you find my sheep? Can you find my sheep? <laughs> <laughs> the poor voice actor did that. What if they're watching? And they're <laughs> like, this is my... You got. I'll be on this stream in a minute. I did. I voiced um, <laughs> did the voice of Bo Peep. I love it this. though. Um, here I go. Here I go. Find my sheep. <laughs> I love it though. It's such like it's it stayed with me, Rob, for all these years. All these years. All these years. I always think, can you find my sheep? I love it. What is everyone in the chat playing on PlayStation Plus? Well, at the moment, Let us everyone's... know. And please also, uh, we're going to be sharing some screenshots from, from you all, hopefully, halfway through the stream. Well, a third of the way and then two thirds of the way through the stream. Um, so if you share a screenshot using the hashtag PS Plus Party, we might share your screenshot in your comment. Woo, PS Plus Party! Uh, a screenshot of a game that you've, you're have you playing through the PlayStation Plus, the new PlayStation Plus, I, yeah. should, I should clarify. Not just any random screenshot. Oh. There what we go. games are you playing? There's so much, there's so much retro goodness available now. Well, I'm, a, I'm immediately we play Ape Escape. Ow. Lots of people saying Siphon Filter. Yeah, that's another great game. I never finished Siphon. I've only played like the first couple of levels. I admit, it. I never played it. I never played it. Partly because I felt like. I'd be sort of cheating on Metal Gear. It was almost like Metal Gear's stealth rival, wasn't it, at the time, Siphon Filter? I don't know. I played Metal Gear, but I knew nothing about Siphon Filter. The only thing I knew about Siphon Filter was that on the demo disc I had, where Siphon Filter was on the cover, Ape Escape was on it. Therefore, everything got ignored apart from Ape Escape. So, <laughs> really, that, that was my, my childhood story of 
my knowledge of Siphon Filter. Right. Get on Siphon the Filter for me was like, I was always intrigued by it. I was like, I know, Metal Gear. I'm a Metal Gear fan, I can't possibly play Siphon Filter. And then as, as the series went on, it was Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell became Metal Gear's big rival. And I would turn my nose up at that as well, even though I secretly really oh, liked no. Splinter Cell. Rosie, come on. Sorry, I jumped, but I didn't think I was going to make it, and then I made it too far. Oh, I've got the super strong bu bullets now, so it goes like... Tyler Davis says, um, how did you like Lords of Shadow? Uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, I thought was absolutely amazing. I still need to play that oh, one. it's really good, Rosie. I've really heard a good. lot of people say it's really good. It's been a while since I played a Castlevania. I should get back into it. In my opinion, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, the first one, is right up there with the best action games on PS3. Like it was such a good game. Oh, there's some seagulls Lots having of a fight. Lots noisy seagulls. Yeah, can you hear them? Yeah. They were fully just right by the window probably going, Aah! I, I think, want to go. I think Castlevania Laws of Shadow was my game of the year for, for 2010. I thought, you know, above Red Dead Redemption, which came out in the same year, I remember. I'm laughing at these seagulls. They're but so loud. What are they doing? I don't know. What are I don't they know doing? Why they're so close as well to the office window? The windows are shut in here. I just have to say that's how noisy they're being. Can they're you chase them off, Ash? <laughs> Is Ash going? Just throw something at them. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. I found all the sheep. Don't put your head out the window, though. What? I think Ash just said it's a baby. There's a baby seagull. <laughs> the drama. Oh, it's a baby seagull. The What's making all that noise? Stream. I hate seagulls. Oh, you've got the car. Oh, I'm racing. Have you got to race the car? Yeah, the best way to do these is to kind of be a bit cruel with it. And uh, whenever he comes up, you need to knock behind him. See, sometimes he does that, though. So sometimes he will trip over. I don't remember doing this, Rosie. So maybe this is where the demo ended, or I just didn't get this far. But this is like another super jammy track. Just listen to it. Du, 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 du. Ash has run outside with her phone to take a picture. Of the seagulls. Of the seagulls. <laughs> of the seagulls. Where are you, RC? Yes, skip to the end. Lords of Shadow over the likes of Red Dead and Mass Effect 2. Yes. Woo. It was great. That's right. Stand back, RC. Only I can win. Enough of you and your nonsense. This is it. Buzz's victory. He did it. The crowd goes wild. You, that's like a Pizza Planet token. Yeah. Earned. So these are the rewards you get. So I've got, I think, one more on this, which is given Bo Peep her sheep. And uh, then I can move on to level two. Which I will sadly, I'll have to kind of get there really quickly because you've got a sadly. friend in me starts playing. So we don't want Disney to come knocking on our door. Uh, so I'll just quickly be like, did you bonk? <laughs> you just imagine. <laughs> Disney themselves, the <clears throat> Disney. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> we really, we noticed you were playing uh, Disney slash Pixar's <laughs> Toy Story 2, but like you to the rescue. Ash has gone outside and the seagulls have quietened down all of a sudden. I love it. Maybe the seagulls I were just really excited for Toy Story 2. What has happened? To infinity and beyond! And we did it! We did the first level! Uh, Stevie Houdini says, So, if my birthday is tomorrow, can I only request a song tomorrow? What? Oh, there's a baby falling out the nest! Let, <laughs> let nature take its course, Ash. Let's rescue the seagull baby! <sighs> no, don't bring it in here. <laughs> oh, seagull. I wonder if this will have my, like, how it will do the save. Yeah, okay, so be, I used to have so... Oh, I just remember all the icons being against Rex's face right now. I remember there was a Bugs Life here. There was Tekken here. Crash Bandicoot used to be across Rex's face. All the PlayStation 1 icons that used to be plastered over Rex's face. 
Uh, right, okay, quick, quick, quick. Oh, I just thought you, you've got a friend who was playing there. I had to do it quick. Disney, no. I'm sorry. No, skip the cutscene. <laughs> oh, I liked the cutscene. I know, but, you know, Disney. Disney could, <laughs> Disney could come knocking. I have to be the fun sponge. But listen to this song. Oh, very good. This listen is all new to, to me. It. I never got to this part of the game, I don't think. <laughs> this song's a banger. So I believe there's a soldier hiding. There he is. So I've got to stomp on that one. So where is it? In the first level, I had to find Bo Peep's sheep. Now I've got to find the the colonel's men. Ugh, get them. And you can hear them because they go, hop, hop, just all the time. Uh, where's the next one? Hang on, I got that one. I got that one. Come on, little man. There he is. Bonk. There's the star. The flare signal. Down I go. Ooh. Rosie breaking out the swing dance moves. Yes, of course I am for this song. Oh, you done? You done? You let me get you? Yes, sir. There we go. Perfect. My first little friend. I'm going to save the battery there because that's my health. Do you like as well how uh, the lawnmower doesn't have? Yeah, what's it doing? It's, it's just out of control. Andy's neighborhood is its crazy. Ow. I was just looking for it. But look at it. It's now a controlled lawnmower that you've just got to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> no, that could be the, the humans could sort that, that out. Now, with this race, really you should do it when you've got a power up later on in the game. And then you can do it more easily. However, I'm going to try and do it without. With my with my cheeky tactics of just bumping into RC whenever he tries to overtake. Like so. <laughs> okay, go, go, get out of here. No RC, RC, no, that's right. Only I can win. Playing dirty. No. <laughs> oh, I love this. I feel like such a, Buzz is such a bully to RC. Go Buzz, go. Oh no, stop. That was close. Okay, there we go. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh, here he comes. Nope. So your tactical sort of <laughs> blocking the racing line of RC there. No, 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 no. that's Not. bad. I think that's it. I think he can win now. No. Hang Come on, on but, but this, this is a feature. <gasps> what did you just do? I'm back. <laughs> yes! PS Plus! <laughs> and he's definitely faster than you. Oh dear! See, he's definitely faster than oh you. Oh dear! He's got you, Rosie. No, he hasn't. It's over for you. Nope, I'm yeah, in the lead now. Are you? Yeah, so one of the features of, um, out of PS Plus is that, let's say, you know, you've done a bit of a fumble like I just did. You simply can click pause and rewind it to go back to any segment. Like, you know, I could go all the way back to... The lawnmower, if I wanted to. Cheeky. So that's why just then, when RC overtook, I was just like, do 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 do. <laughs> the chat's like, oh my god, she's cheating. <laughs> I've done this before. I've done this before, but I just wanted to show another PS Plus feature. <laughs> another PS Plus fun feature. So this is what you can do. do. I'm deliberately losing now, just so I can show you. Just so the rewind. You have to do it again. No. Nope. Mm. You have to do it again, Rosie. You're not going to be beat him now. Oh, cutting the corners. Oh, oh no. dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> no, he's won. He's won. I won't rewind again. Oh, he slipped on the water. But no, it's, it's, it's too... It's, um, yeah, really, I need the power up for that. But at least RC's now happy. Well done, RC. <laughs> well done, RC. <laughs> so there you go. This is the power up that you would need, but I haven't unlocked it yet. And also, if you did want to try that yourself, then that's a fun little tactic you can use to try and beat RC. Yeah, see, <laughs> Serum Lake says 100% not cheating. It is a bit though. But it's just one, it's just a feature that you can do. I did, I was thinking, how am I gonna show that feature? Because it's a really cool feature, but. And what better way to do it than with that? Ooh. Right, let's see if I can do this without the rewind. Oh, this is where Ham is. 
Right, climbing up the tree. Gel D says, I wish I had a rewind button in real life. But then you would never... Would you, would you truly learn from your mistakes if you had a rewind button in real life? Oh, oh there we go. Another soldier here. It's good. This game's hard. Hey, it's, it's like good old platforming. It is. It's tough. Look at this. This is difficult, isn't it? Up he goes. Woo! Give me that. Give me that coin. Give me that coin. Give me that coin. Yeah. Now, if I fall, I'm falling all the way back down the floor. So I'm hoping that I can... At I least... think that rope is like a shortcut, so maybe I'll try triggering that. At least you would fall with style, Rosie. <laughs> that wasn't flying. That was falling with style. There we go. Right, I pulled the rope down. So I can just climb back up now, in case I do fall. Chris Y says, Hello, Access. Hello, Chris Y. How are you? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were going to answer first. <laughs> well, I'm good, thank you. I'm having a lovely Don't day. Don't tell me you've actually got it in there. Wait, get what, what? No, you've got, you've got to take it. Oh, my God, it's Ash. You can't bring that in here. Oh, my God, Ash has brought the poor oh little God, baby oh seagull. God. I can't believe you've made this oh our no. problem. <laughs> this is drama on stream. Behind the scenes access access drama. Ash is saving the baby seagull. And you can hear Rob's response. Um, Sam asks, by the way, is Alex at the helm of PlayStation Access? Yes, he is. He is behind the wonderful PlayStation Access account. So if you do have any questions for Alex, you know, you could chuck him on in then. I'm sure Alex would love to respond. He could tell you about his PlayStation Plus party adventures. Ooh. Okay, right, I need to jump on that stick, I believe it was. So, let's go this way. And then, whoop. There we go. Buzz will not lose an arm today and become Mrs. Nesbitt. <laughs> you still there, Rob? Yeah. Okay, is it? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> wasn't sure if I was alone or not. Right, turn the camera. Up we go, up we go. Oh, come on! Come on! I jumped over the rope. That was sad. Back up we go. Batbean says, Alex, can you show us the seagull? Sadly, he can't. He can't show us the seagull. Um, I mean, I can't even see the, the seagull that Ash has rescued because I'm in, I'm in the, the oven today. We should stop talking about the seagull and just play <laughs> Toy Story 2. I mean, I'm playing Toy Story 2. I'm having a wonderful time. I mean, how can you not with this jamming music? Oh, okay, okay. No time to lose. You're right, Buzz. There's no time to lose. Oh, way up. Um, right. Focusing here. Oh, whoop. Go on, Buzz. Oh, come on, I oh, had it! Oh, Rosie. I had it! That's a big old fool See? mistake. and then this is what I could then <laughs> do this. Oh, goodness me. Rosie just showing off the... Uh, the and cool then there feature. you go. See, we The cool little feature for uh, uh, for those of you who might not want to... I was like, go on, I've climbed the tree enough times already. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's get up to Zerg. Or Zerg's kite, What's sorry. He That's not that, yeah. The Zerg Defeat kite. the Zerg kite. Come here, Zerg. Oh, come on. Hang on. Right. Oh, sorry, it's inverted. Whoa, where is it? Whoa, whoa, way up. Well, I could spin too. Wow, I must have been so bad at this game. To literally not even get out of level one. Well, I'm, this is not my best performance at all. Usually I'm much oh, better at this game. There's a lock on. Yep, hang on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. oh, God. Look, I love Buzz's face. It's like ray tracing on PS1. Before before real ray tracing, they were doing it. Right, hang on. I 
I swear, usually I can do it from that wood plank, but... Come here. I've had enough of your nonsense. Oh, don't you dare! Oh, no. It's all right. You Just... get back up there. Or rewind it and cheat. It's a feature! <laughs> See? Have I told you about this feature? Look at it. <laughs> I love the way the music just changes. As soon as you get knocked off the tree, it's like, yeah, back to the, back to the. Okay, inverted. Remember, it's inverted. In. There we go. I got you once, you silly n numpty. Ow. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Stop it, stop it. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. I'm back. I'm back and rocking and rolling. <laughs> Stevie, Disney, no. Please, I just wanted to stream. Um, I need some batteries or something. But it's fine. I should be back now. I hope you all were nice to each other in the chats whilst I was temporarily vanished. Did you see my epic kill of Zerg, though? I didn't, I'm afraid, Rosie. Oh, Rob, you're back. Sorry, hello. Oop. I did a big old epic kill of Zerg on the tree. Full on last blast. Hiya! Uh. Right, here we go, here we go. Oh, in the washing machine. There we go. I remember this moment being really hard and finicky. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's try again. Uh, WVN Gamer says this soundtrack is amazing. It's so amazing. Genuinely, I listen to this. Not even kidding, I listen to this soundtrack on a regular basis. And I believe as well, my brother does some drumming. And he actually did a drumming cover of this song. Um, which was really good. Because it's just got some genuine, really good tracks in it. If you haven't heard the whole soundtrack before, would highly recommend. 
Uh, Chris Anakin says this game actually looks pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet. And you can play it if you've got the PlayStation Plus premium subscription. Did right you finish now. it back in the day, Rosie? The, oh, I finished this game multiple times. I've like I've played this countless times on PS1. Is it one of the ones that you play every year on your birthday? I do play it. I, I at least delve into it once. What's the one that you do? Is it Jungle Book? That's you a Jungle Book group party, yeah. Every year on my birthday. Although I don't think I did it this year. I think. I can't remember if I did it this year or not. But either way, I love the Jungle Book group. Imagine if that came to Plus Premium. <laughs> Imagine. Um, did I get... Yeah, I think I've done everything here as well, but I'm still missing a soldier. Where's the last one? I'm trying to remember. Get rid of him. I got the one on the swing. hey -ya. Um, Toby, what do you mean you... I, I finished this game multiple times without rewinding. Rewinding is only a feature that has been brought to it through this service. Through this service. So, yeah, Rosie, when you originally played it on PS1, there was no rewinding. No rewinding. You actually had to be good at the game. <laughs> Sick burn. Sick burn. Yeah. Our viewers actually went up during that chaotic bit where it was just you full screen, Rosie, with no sound. Oh, really? So maybe we should do that again. Just put like behind the scenes. I don't even know. Could the could the chat see me just like trying to lower the green screen? Like hello. The chat went full screen on you, Rosie, accidentally. Because I put the headset down on the on the vision mixer. It pressed. I pressed oh, that button. No. <laughs> so, but to give you the full effect, it's <laughs> double me. But also with no Rosie soundtrack. So no Rosie soundtrack. So you can't hear Rosie. I've muted you again now, Rosie. <laughs> PlayStation Plus celebration. Back to it. Back to it. Um, I tell you what, how much time have I got? I got twenty. I don't know where this last. I can't remember where this last soldier is. It might be on the very top of the. I tell you what, I'll look on top of the tree. I'll look on top of the tree. No, it's in the the blooming pool. <gasps> oh no! Isn't it? Hang on, where's the pool? No. Can you glide over there? Can you fall with style over there? I always fall with style. I really want to make like a Randy Newman. Clearly, I will go sailing. No, Rosie, the Disney lawyers. I know, and then I'm not going to finish it. <laughs> 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 Just picture Buzz being sad on the floor. And get the rubber duck. Or the, the inflatable. Get the inflatable duck. Get the inflatable. There it goes. Right, so for those of you who are just joining us, um, what we're doing today is we're doing a selection of games that are all available on the new PlayStation Plus service, which has launched today in the UK. Uh, so Rosie is playing Disney Pixar's Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. Woo! In about 20 minutes time, Ash is going to be on playing a game that maybe will just keep us a surprise for now. But Let's if, you've if you've looked at the thumbnail, you can probably guess what it is. And then at about four o'clock, I'm going to be jumping on playing one of my favorite games. One of my favourite games of all time. Probably, oh, is it of all time? Probably in my top 20, I oh, reckon, wow. of all time. Um, I'm going to be playing that. Um, and it's just a fun celebration. We'd also like you to, to share the joy if you're playing, if you're revisiting an old favourite today on the new PlayStation Plus service, uh, or even a game that you've never played before that you've always wanted to play, share a screenshot and use the hashtag PS Plus Party, and we might share your screenshots and comments during the swap over periods which will go very smoothly if you if you hadn't already guessed this is a stream that's going very smoothly we've had we've had so much drama so much drama and excitement and action and parties we have and with toy story 2 in the background <laughs> i have to say the comments now gone but someone in the chat said don't you get it you see the hats <laughs> i am mrs, mrs. nesbitt <laughs> One of my favourite <laughs> scenes, I think, <laughs> just in films. I love that scene. It is amazing. So much. There we go. Poor Buzz. <laughs> it's not Mrs. part of a Nesbit. 
I used to play a game when I was a kid where I'd run up to people and just say that line and then I'd like laugh hysterically. It's the zoom. It's the crash zoom on Buzz when Woody's looking in and he sees the little tea party. <laughs> There's like that crash zoom on his face and he's got the frozen toy just, face. Yeah. One thing I always wonder oh. is, um, you know, just part of the lore of Toy Story, I guess, is that Buzz, to start with, doesn't think he's a toy. He thinks he's an actual space ranger. Yes. But when a human comes in, he still does the freeze. Like, he freezes like a toy. So that must be just, like, some kind of built-in instinct in all toys to just freeze like that when a human comes in. Because otherwise he'd be like, ah, a human. And he'd be all talking to Andy like a space ranger and stuff. I say either that or, like, you know, he thinks that they're, they're an alien on an alien planet and therefore he's, like, you know, don't, doesn't want to alert the aliens. I don't think he care. He's so he's he's got so much like arrogance about him, hasn't he? At the start, like I am the great Buzz Lightyear. You're just... mocking me, aren't you? <laughs> oh no 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 no! no, no, no. Buzz like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Ah! <laughs> My eyeballs could have been sucked from their sockets. <laughs> <laughs> you actually think you're the Buzz Lightyear? And all this time, I thought it was an act. Go on. Woo, I think I got them all in this level now. I think I did it. So I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna I'm gonna exit the level. Doodle Knight says they're surprised there's no Ape Escape. We haven't forgotten about Ape Escape, don't you worry, Rosie has absolutely not forgotten about Ape Escape. Ape Escape content is coming. Yes, there is something. Ape Escape has its own little thing. Oh the oh yeah, of course I'll see. That's for that's what I forgot. But I mean, I tried to do it, and then I failed the, the cheesing aspect of it. No, quick, ignore the song. Ba la la la. <laughs> ba la 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 la. Now, this song's a great song. This one. I, I'm, looking for, I'm looking forward to hearing it. There's like one full moment where you've got to do the piano for it. I always got to do I can't play piano, but I always just do this with it, because it's, it's a banger. Is, is Alex talking about Birmingham City transfers? He's always finding a way to put them in some... Wait. Oh, wait, no, that's not the football team. <laughs> oh, no, it's also about Gareth Bale potentially going to Cardiff City. I mean, that, I mean, that seems like, you know... He should be in the Premier League. Come to Palace. Eagles. Eagles! So what, you got to fight a, a, a toy plane now? Yeah, this is a neighbourhood toy plane. Neighbourhood toy plane. If you got to do that, it goes spiralling out of control. And then, oh, I'm so excited for the piano bit to come in the song. It's like my favourite bit in the song. Oh, I shot it once. <laughs> come here, come here. Is this whole level just a boss fight? Yeah, so this is the first boss like fight. This is the first, what about the Zerg? The Zerg kite? Zerg, well, he was like an in-level boss fight. Oh, don't blow up, don't blow up. We haven't hit the piano. Okay, right, I'm going to hold off just so we can hear the piano part of this song. William Barbosa says, please play until the Owl's Penthouse level. There's a perfect soundtrack on that oh, level. Oh, yes, the, the whole true? Western. Yeah, it's like a really cool Western theme because, you know, Owl has all the collections and stuff. Oh, yeah. Is that right at the end of the game? Oh, here we go. Here comes the piano. It's kind of like past the halfway point, I'd say, or it's on okay. the halfway point. Here comes the piano, everybody. Here it comes. Hang on, the build-up. That's right, put up the music. Be careful with that. It's extremely it dangerous. Be careful with that. It's extremely dangerous. Oh, did you hear that? It's such a jam. <laughs> such a jam. <laughs> Rosie, I'd switch it. I was going to switch it to you full screen with no sound playing the piano. Uh, but you stopped. It would have been really funny. I'm going to turn it back Go down a bit now. Infinity. Did it! And beyond. <laughs> Such nice a work. banger of a track, I love it. So nice you have work, to do the Rosie. piano. Boss defeated, see? <laughs> Screenshot taken from the moment where he's in the elevator and he thinks he's flying. Pew! Pew! So what, this is what we're on now? Level four? Um, Save game, yes, no. No, because then that means that the song will be extended. Mo bonus movie awarded, but we're going to skip that. <laughs> and then the... Oh, this has also got a banger of a track. 
Rob, the soundtrack in this game is so good. Okay, I'm ready and waiting for this. Construction yard. And also these little guys, they're like they're the ones you have to collect and they all go over here. Over here. There's so much joy I missed by being rubbish at this game. How many levels are in this, Rosie? How long oh, is there's it a lot. Finish? I think there's over ten, I think. Like this one's just a great soundtrack because you know it just feels like a a construction yard. Yeah. Justin Hobbs finally caught my first actual live stream. Love you guys. Thank you very much, Justin. I love you too. Love you well, too. Well, that's a bit far. That's a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> I've never even met you, Justin. <laughs> I love <laughs> you, Justin. Thank you for watching the stream. Uh, we're glad you finally caught a live stream. Hope you enjoy your live experience. Woo. Well, I mean, you've just had Rob proclaim his full love for you. Yes. <laughs> That's some more drama yeah. we've had in the stream today. We've had action, we've had suspense yes. and sadness Justin, and now relation, love. My relationship with Justin moved very quickly there. <laughs> right. Um, see, look. Over here. Over here. Over here. Nine Buzz Lightyear Space oh, Ranger. Buzz, you ruined it. So they've got like actual voice samples from the, from the movies. Um, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. Universe protection unit. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're from the actual film or if they got like a voice actor to redo them. Alex Oxley says, goodness, Rob, take a man to dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Now this part is intense. You've got Slinky down there, which, oh, do I do Slinky? I'll tell you what, I'll climb up here and then we can fall down and do Slinky if we have enough time. Oh, come on, Alec. Alex is like, I can't believe Rob just said he loves Justin. He's never said anything nice to me. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I said nice haircut the other week, Alex, to you. Yeah, but you didn't proclaim your love for Alex. But, you know, I said something nice. <laughs> well, it wasn't passion and love. <laughs> oh, oh, that was my fault. Jericho... Jay says, says, Hi, PS Access crew. So many great memories with this game. I know, this is the great thing about all of these games coming to PlayStation Plus now. It's, it's nostalgia overload. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of uh, people on Twitter being like, Oh, I've started playing this again and it's still great. And it is, and it makes me happy as well. No time to lose. Mr. Fry, exclamation mark, says, I've been access from the very beginning. Never even got a hi from Rob. <laughs> Angry face. Well, Mr. Whoa, Fry. Oh, no, well. Mr. Fry, I don't think I've ever seen your name in the comments before. I I'm sorry. Way. I went the wrong way. I'm sorry, Mr. Fry, Splash. if that is the case. Hello, this. Mr. Fry. How are you? Ready to race? Right, let's do Slinky's race while I fell down. Adamantium Gaming UK says, Rob, you do an amazing impression of Buzz Tim Allen. Is that right? Do it or again, do just, it again. Or are you just um, mocking me? You're mocking me, aren't you? You're mocking me, aren't you? I would think I'd have to hear it first before doing it again. You, should do you are a sad, strange little man. And you have my pity. Farewell. Oh yeah, well, good riddance, you loony. <laughs> Boom! Back to Slinky. Great going, bud. Thanks, Slinky. I love Slinky. I've actually got um two, I've got a Woody and Buzz sort of like, well, a toy at my uh, flat, which my brother gave me. They're like um special versions of them. A and Buzz toy? Yeah, like a Buzz and a Woody. And they came in like these really nice boxes. Oh. I've got a Buzz and a Woody, uh, well I bought them for my daughter. They're like the Toy Story 4 version, so they've got Bonnie written on the bottom instead of Andy. Oh, um, oh really? They changed it? They're really good, they're really nice ones. Um, and in fact, when my daughter was really into Toy Story, what I would do was, when she wasn't looking, I would take Buzz and I would like position him on like the top of a wardrobe or on the top of the stairs with his wings out like he was ready to fly. Aww. And uh, she believed that he was alive and trying to fly like in the film. That's so it wonderful. Great. It was a very fun couple of weeks. Couple of weeks, yeah. did it not last Now, <laughs> well, Buzz and Woody and Jesse 
are all just in the bottom of a drawer somewhere oh <laughs> and played God. with for years. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't touch them anymore. And I'm like, have you not seen the films? Bring them out. Play with them again. Play with them. Otherwise they get sad and Otherwise sing songs. They get sad. It was great fun. I, I loved it when my daughter was in the I Love Toy Story phase because it meant she watched Toy Story like kids do, just over and over and over again. Mm. And that, that is definitely the most entertaining of the things that she is that she likes. You know, she likes she likes Spirit Stallion of the Cimmeroon now. I've never she's heard of that. Well, the film's not too bad, but there's like a there's like a, a series as well, which Nolan North is in actually. Nolan North does the voice of the dad in the in the Spirit oh, okay. series. I'm Buzz Lightyear, but just Space watch that Ranger, all the time. Star Wars as good as Toy Story. <laughs> just be like, well, hey, remember, remember the fun times we've had with Toy Story? Yeah, but do you remember when Toy Story 3 came out? I do. Like, how insane that was? Oh. Toy Story 3 is my favourite one. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's so good. It's really, really good. Mine's... I mean, think about mine's probably. Oh no, I still just can't. I just can't. Can't pick between one and one and two. Oh, three's amazing for me. Like the whole sequence where they're escaping. Yeah. It's so good. Like Mr. Potato Head <laughs> when he has to when he has to put his face and ears and legs in a tortilla wrap <laughs> and then a cucumber. <laughs> it's a pepperoni. Isn't Is it, it a pepperoni? I think it was a pepperoni. Whatever the long thin thing. <laughs> then he arrives. You will not believe what I've been through tonight. tonight. <laughs> One of my favourite lines ever. Ooh. So, so good. And then obviously when Buzz get uh, activates Spanish mode. Yeah. Oh. Hilarious. <gasps> Final girl ninety three says has a tragic comment. She says I had Woody growing up. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your Woody is just lying in the bottom of a charity shop somewhere, just forgotten and loved. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it was a happy ending. Maybe, maybe another child bought him. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe he found a lovely new home. Oh come on! <sighs> that was close. Which way am I going? I'm still going around this way. It's okay. I can come back. Alex has done a poll. What's this poll? Wait, so I see Toy Story is one of the answers. Oh, best Toy Story film. Oh, what are people... Toy, oh, Story, Toy Story the first Story one. Toy Story 1 is winning. Toy Story 4 is lagging far behind, which I think is a little bit unfair. I think Toy Story 4 sort of falls outside of the main thrust of the trilogy, doesn't it? No time but it's a very good film, I think, in its own right. It's, yeah, it's, it's I've definitely got like some really enjoyable moments yeah. with it, but I would say out of the four of them, I don't think yeah. it's the strongest, sadly. Yeah. Three is my favourite. I really like the the two toys that Key and Peel voice. Oh, yeah, in, uh, the, the duck and uh, oh, bunny, or ducky so and bunny funny. or something. There's that sequence <laughs> where they're planning what they would do to that poor um, antique shop worker. And it's just <laughs> such a good sequence. Oh my god, the time! It just goes on that. and on and on and on. And you think they're going to appear in the back of a car, a rear view mirror in the car. They think they're going to jump her while she's in the bath. <laughs> you just leave it until she's asleep. <laughs> it's so good. So funny. Ranger, universe protection unit. Anyway. I think I'm going to have time to do this boss before my turn is up. I mean, oh, I say boss, but it's like, you know, just the the little the mini boss in the level. <laughs> Adamantium Gaming UK says, I had a Woody in a Buzz. I remember, t remember taking Buzz into the bath and his voice would go very high pitched. <laughs> Probably dangerous, <laughs> but oh well, lol. Lol. <laughs> well, I'm glad nothing bad happened. At least just Buzz, imagine that. <laughs> buzz was buzz, nice and buzz. clean. Like you to the rescue. Buzz, Buzz, like you to the rescue. And Mrs. Nutspot. <laughs> See the heart? Oh, I'm Mrs. Nesbitt. I think I need to shoot this guy in the back or something. I do remember that if you just kind of run away from it, he'll just sort of stand there looking sad for a bit and then you can shoot him. So, Rosa, we've got about one minute left until the Toy Story bit. Oh my god, that's terrifying! That was gonna haunt my nightmares. What yeah, is that? This, this boss is. A is it a pneumatic drill or something? Oh no. Oh no, Rosie. Rewind. True! I forgot I could do that. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh, my now God. Right, <laughs> rewind to the bit where the bad thing happened. There we go. Woo! Look at that. Nothing bad.
that happened. Just a, a quick little rewind feature. Again, uh, <laughs> a part of PS Plus. But how, how do I... Do you think I need to shoot it in the back? Right, where are you, buddy? There he is. There he is. Up, 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 oh, up. Sorry. Here he comes. That's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. It doesn't look like your laser's doing anything to it. Oh my god, he's coming! Run, Rosie! He's coming. I know you're, you're supposed to you're supposed to have a certain item, but you can do it without the item. Because I've done it many times before, which is why this is triggering <gasps> me right now. Run! There. Toy Story has won the poll. The first one. Nice. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on, how do I? Poshima asks, how far back can you rewind? That's a good question. We could have a little a little gander in my last minute. A to... little gander. A little gander. First of all. Whoop. I think I'm slipping. I'm slipping, hang on. <laughs> How do I defeat this boss again without the poop? By cheesing it without the item. But Hammett says, I just want to say thanks for cheering me up on a particularly low day. Well, I'm glad that we could cheer you up, Bahamut. And I'm sorry that you're having a bad day. I also like that you're called Bahamut. And now I'm just imagining the dragon god just having a bit of a bad day. Aww. Well, I hope you but have a better day. Thank you for the kind comment, Bahamut. And I hope you start to feel better. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Come on, let's just do something. Ugh. Yeah, no, I've got to shoot from the back. Well, let's see how far back we can rewind. So, I've been here fighting, fighting, fighting. Oh, wait, I can press L2. All the way. All the way back to some time ago. Oh, wow, yeah, I can. Re beep, okay, beep, well, beep, that beep, was beep, Slinky. Beep, 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 beep. And still, so I can go back. If you remember when I defeated the boss, that's what's. And if you want, like, you know, I could be like, I mean, it will lose my progress, but it's fine. We're doing this for a stream, and then we'll go boop, rewind. Well, I remember when I killed the boss. <laughs> And, and beyond. beyond! There we go. And that's what a way for me to finish my, my little hour segment of All this. All right. Okay. So, again, sorry I didn't do Ape Escape, but that's because Ape Escape's got something else maybe in the works. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about the apes. <laughs> so, it's actually Not subtle, Rosie. <laughs> Everyone knows what you're doing. Monkeys. The funny monkeys. So, yes, I believe Ash is up next. Ash yes. is going to be coming up next. But in the meantime... I'm going to say bye for off camera for in the meantime. We're going to have a little look. You're still on camera for now, Rosie. But I'm going to have a little look. You're off. Bye. You're gone. Bye, Rosie. See you in a bit. Um, we're going to have a little look at some screenshots that have been sent in from our wonderful community. So this first one is from Scott B, who has also been playing Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Um, and Scott says, one of the first games I remember having on PS1, and I'm absolutely loving seeing and playing it on PS5. A certified absolute banger. And I have to say, I have been enjoying it a lot as well. Just watching the game has been a lot of fun. Rosie has joined me in the, in the voice void room now. In the voice void room. Um, so that's thank you very much for sending that one in, Scott. Um, we're going to have see if we can have a little look at some others, and then we will switch to Ash, I believe, is is ready in the chair. Um, so this is from Final Girl ninety three, who I believe was in the comments just now, admitting to losing her Woody toy when she was younger. Um, happy Ape Escape Day, everybody! Says Final Girl ninety three. Ape Escape Day. Happy Ape Escape Day, indeed. Rosie is calling it Ape Escape Day. Are those Ape Escape Day, Day of the Ape. In the top left, Rosie, are those biscuits? Yeah, they're cookies. They're your health. Ah. Oh. Ape Escape is a wonderful game. Right, so... <laughs> I should tell you all about so it. So it's cookies for health. It's cookies for health. Yes. Okay. So I believe Ash is, Ash is there now. Ash, can you hear us? Yeah. Ash is in can the hot Can you hear me? Seat. We can. 
We can oh. say hello, everybody, to Ash, if you can hear Ash. Hello. I am on the control, so if you can't hear Ash, it's my fault. <laughs> um, we're just going to have a look through another couple of pictures, Ash. Um, if you could get your game ready. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm just sitting here with Boss defeated on the screen. <laughs> so we're going <laughs> to... We're going to have a look at this next photo. This has been sent in by Cheese. 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 Uh, this is a shot from from Returnal, but it's a shot of the little Resogun Easter egg in Returnal, which is very cool. I didn't know that was in there. Very cool indeed. Returnal, of course, uh, an amazing PS5 game. One of, if not my actual favourite PS5 game. Um, I absolutely love Returnal, and that is also part of the new PlayStation Plus service. If you haven't played Returnal, uh, and you've got a PS5 and PlayStation Plus, you've got to play Returnal. It's fantastic. Um, we will have a look at another one. Ash is, I can just see, is loading up the game now. It's very spooky. It looks it. Forbidden. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know what Ash is playing, I'm sure you do now. Uh, so we're going to have a look at another screenshot. This one has been sent in by Toby. And this is Death Stranding. A beautiful game. Uh, Toby says, I may have had the Death Stranding PS5 version already, but having it digitally is going to help a lot in my road to the PS5 Platinum. Already have the PS4 Platinum. I mean, that is a lot of work and effort going for the Platinum twice in Death Stranding. That's a huge undertaking. But Death Stranding, I absolutely love it. Beautiful, beautiful game. Um, we will have a look at one more photo. One more. This is from Whitby. This is of Red Dead Redemption 2. <gasps> oh, look at those water graphics. Look at those water graphics. There's no comment on this from Whitby. It's just <laughs> the screenshot. Splish, splash. Splish. Splash. It's just the screenshot. That's all we've got. Um, I'm going to bring you on air, Ash. I'm we here. We can see you now ah, on top of the ah. on top of the Red Dead Redemption 2 water graphics. Oh, I'm swimming. <laughs> so immersive. So immersive. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much, everyone, for sending in your screenshots. Um, there's so much amazing stuff available on PlayStation Plus now. Um, please do continue sharing them. We're going to have another switch over after Ash has finished playing her game and I'm going to be playing. Um, but for now, we're going to be coming to your gameplay, Ash, and we can reveal that you are playing Siren. Forbidden Siren. Oh, sorry, was that supposed to be a surprise? Because I was just whispering along with the we're along well, with the screen. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Uh, so you're going to be playing this, Ash. Rosie is going to take over from me in the troll room. Yes. And I will be back in approximately one hour to round off the day's festivities. Ooh. Oh my god, this game looks really scary. I'm glad I'm Enjoy. I'm excited. All the rustling of the mic. And then the siren called Rob and Rosie emerged. Ah! Ah! I'm excited to play this. I haven't actually played Forbidden Sirens. This is a, a new one for me and a new spooky game that I know is, like, you know, iconic. So oh, that's exciting. I know. That, that's why I picked it. I was like, something I haven't played that I've heard loads about that's been on my list that, you know, I get to play now. So I'm excited to get into it. So in fact, I played... Um Oh, well, listen to that. You know what? The siren. The siren for a reason. Yeah. I played uh, Siren Blood Curse, which was the sequel on PS3. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I remember being like, you know, this was before I kind of got used to <clears throat> got used to horror games, and it terrified me. Yeah, it looks spooky. The way that people's face graphics are. The way that you can see through the killer's eyes. Yeah. Like th the faces are like weirdly realistic. It's so uncanny. What is she doing? Oh, that's a full-on hammering. The dog! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Run, dog, run. Be safe from the siren. Get Final Girl. Here. Final Girl 93 says, Yes, I literally just downloaded this. What are they doing? Oh, it's 
the middle of the night. Is he still out peeping? Yeah, has he been peeping there this whole time <laughs> since you ran off? <laughs> Waited a whole day, like, what's going on? This doesn't Who's look like that? a good time, Rosie. Who is it? Uh oh. We got spotted. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the visions. The visions. <laughs> <gasps> oh no. Oh, he doesn't look well. Oh goodness. Oh goodness gracious. Escape from police officer. Ah, I gotta get out of here. Immediately, straight on in there. Escape from the police officer. I will try my best, game. Uh, C Cluster says, uh, what game is this? This is Forbidden Siren now that Ash has chosen what? to play. Yeah. Why? <laughs> what why is what Rob said as oh well? Oh my god, it's He's coming! coming. Ah! <laughs> I love that whole discourse. <laughs> what, 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 no use! <laughs> oh goodness, he's shooting. Stop! Shoot to kill, oh boy, he's after you. Ah! <coughs> right, I'm going to be... Oh, wow, what's these signs? Very nice. Uh, Jesse says, I would have noped out of there so fast. What, as soon as you saw the girl with the dog, you'd just been like, nope, this is freaky. So oh, he's still here! Ah! <gasps> escape, escape. How do I escape? Stop trying to shoot me! I'm crouching! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ooh, shot in the back of the neck. Ah, ah! I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> Officer, please! You aren't supposed to shoot me! Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. What's to the left? What's to the left? Let me out! It's shut! Ah. I'm gonna go in the so toilet! Ah. It's locked! Ah. Let me in! Oh, you got me! <laughs> oh my god! Ah. Oh no! What's that blue light mean? I think that's you. So when you look through the eyes of the... Oh. <laughs> Mission sailed. <laughs> Mission failed. Oh well. Let's try well, it again. That was Ash's segment. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Ash. You've got the rewind feature. Why? Do I? Yeah. Oh, rewind. Oh God, yeah. If you press um, the ah! options button mm -hmm. on the dual sense, or is it only for classics? No, no rewind. Oh, no. You don't have rewind then. Not for me. Can I go through here? No. Ah, let me out. Can I get in the car? Let me in. Domino says, good start. A key, a key is needed. Oh, I'm going to do really badly at this. I'm sorry, everyone. If you're expecting good gameplay, this is just me enjoying myself gameplay. <laughs> That's fine. Enjoy yourself. That's what this whole this whole stream is a PS Plus party. It is. And we want to see your pictures. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's shut tight. I need to find a key for the car. Ah! He Where? is not giving you a break, is he? Where would the key be? Rosie, help. Can I just hit him? Ah! Is there anything to the left? Yeah, like down. No, you can't go down that way. It's no use! It's no use! It's no use. <laughs> oh. oh. Zooming. Uh. Mm. Let me out of here! Oh, oh! The plan construction. <laughs> <laughs> Is he just giggling? I'm giggling. Yay! Yay! She found the door! Car keys lion table. <laughs> Access list menu, okay. Pick uh, up. Hunter Tomblin says this game is not easy. Got the car keys. Okay, here we go. Is there anything in the in the lockers? Ah! This one's open! Let me see. I don't want to shout. <laughs> Dog Forest says, ah! Ash enjoying herself. Ah! 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 Shot! Oh god! Come on! I hope he hasn't followed me in. No! Ah! No, he was all. Oh. <laughs> oh, he got me. Right, okay. I know where the keys are now. You can just go straight there. Oh, I've worn my, my shirt that has loads of green on it, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit see through. No, I say mainly. I didn't realise there's any green on it at all. Yeah, it's because it's all faded in. It's um, it's my ready steady cooktop. It's got loads of red peppers and green, green red chilies and green peppers what? on it. Why? I love it. 
I just keep on seeing all like I've been looking at it like looking at it today and I just see loads of ketchup and chili sauce yeah. on it. <laughs> the condiment top. Right, okay. Straight to the keys to unlock the car. Here they are. Pick them up. Delicious. Well, yeah, what happens if you shout? Do you just shout, I found car keys, or...? I think that's probably something for later when you're, like... Maybe trying to distract people. them. people, yeah. I don't want to shout, unless I can shout at the police officer. Oi! I Let found some out. keys! Use car keys to unlock the door. Thank you. Officer, do you want them? Come on! Let me in! <laughs> Triangle okay. to get in the car. Here we go. Oi, officer, I unlocked the car! How do I drive? How do I drive? Ah! <laughs> the ignition is below the steering wheel. Insert key. Oh my god, I'm having to do it step by step. <laughs> the key has been inserted. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Start engine! <laughs> okay, here we go. Police officer, no more! Oh no. Off he goes, he's learning how to drive. Yeah! He hasn't stalled. Star, but he did hit a police officer. Whose account is my own? Is it yours? Mine. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, you get. Thank you. you got me a trophy. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Oh, I'm really hot in here. I'm sorry if I get a bit of a sweaty face. That is warm in that room, isn't it? I mean, I've just been in there prior to you, so yeah. You had like my warmth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan Hogan asks or says, "Good morning, Ash and Rosie. Good morning. How much longer are you going to play? We're playing for around." Excuse me. The stream's okay? going for another two hours? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh or an God. hour 45. What do I do? Call an ambulance? You just run him over? Oh, an the earthquake. This is not his day. The sirens! Forbidden! The forbidden sirens! Forbidden! Oof. Oh, goodness. Oh, he doesn't look well. He's, he has a, he's got oh, something goodness. in his eye. Ooh. This is really like, you know, still re goes really hard. What, you're like straight on in there, shot by a policeman. Yeah, I just mean like the, the graphics, you know, mm. like I still think it looks quite scary. Yeah, same. I really like, yeah, like you said, it's sort of familiar, but in a weird way. Mm. Uh, Ozymandia says this game probably would have given me nightmares back then. It definitely would have given me nightmares. <laughs> it would have given me nightmares back in the day. It's gone. What, the bullet or...? Oh. Oh no. Blood! <laughs> Oh, I love him. I don't blame this poor guy. Blood. You can see visions. Relax. Although I guess that's easier said than done. Are you all right? I, I, I just got shot, but... I understand. Listen, you have to come with me. You're not safe here. Follow oh my god, me. I thought she was going to pull her face off then. <laughs> <sighs> Forbidden face. Reach. Road to Karawari with Hisako Yao. Okay. Well, she seems nice. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. This red water is now coursing through your veins. Uh oh. In place of all the blood you lost. You have the water to thank for your recovery. I know you're still shaky, but you will be better soon. I'm so relieved. It was any more. Anyway, we must hurry now. <laughs> I like the chat being like, I've been shot. I eyes. understand. <laughs> 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 yes, I can see that. <laughs> I understand how the bullet went through your body. Oh my goodness. I like how the uh, face animation is done by just like very subtle little fades. 
So it's just like still, I think it's still images just faded together, which gives that kind of like wispful sort of effect to it. Okay, so press side jack. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Got some on site here. Oh, you hear them breathing. Where are they though? Oh! Oh, that was hers, looking at you. Oh, here I am! There you, there you are! You, you having a great time? You alright, buddy? Oh, is she praying for me? She just stood there, just like, well, I'm ready when you are, when you uh, when you want to I'm just get <laughs> going. <laughs> Concentrating very hard right now. Right, so we know we're up near here one. I'm gonna assign that to X. Has he moved? I feel like he's moved. I kind of unless there's because oh I, yeah, there's another one there. Yeah, that guy sounded deeper, putting more like. Whoa. Okay, so now if, uh, now I've assigned them to some buttons. I can press this. I can press this, and I can get to them easily. <laughs> I love the transition of. They are no longer. Can I? Oh. I put on subtitles. Let's just have a quick look for that. Yeah, that's a good shout. Maybe not. That's fine. When they're talking, I'll, I'll 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 try not to talk over them. Oh no, you're fine. I was just having a little look just to see because you I usually do put them on anyway. Alex says I am proper freaked out. I have <laughs> no idea what is going on. Okay, right. Let's go. Exit. So from what I can gather, this guy was just chilling in a forest. Kind of came across something he should have done. Then a potentially possessed or police officer with, you know, something amiss started shooting you. You got shot and then some kind of water replaced your blood? Red water. Red water. Sort of like replaced... Oh! Someone sit me! Oh my gosh. Eek. Oh, oh. Wait here. I'm waiting fight, here. Fight them. When I Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Oh no! Oh, she said, come over when I call you! <laughs> I think you went running off without her! <laughs> wait! Oh, wait. I said, wait! Oof, wait! <laughs> wait! Dush! <laughs> Dush! Uh, Invicta Gaming says, it's my birthday today! Turned 30! Happy birthday! Birthday to you and Victor Gaming. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Happy birthday to you. Your veins. Ooh. In place of all the blood you lost. Oh, oh yeah, we could. She, she's talking about all that you blood loss again. There we go. We know. Close your eyes. Okay. Oh, we're doing this again. Relax. Okay. Yeah, maybe just do it. What? Just do it quickly. Just be like. Duh, 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 duh. One. That's one thing I swear in, in horror games, heavy breathing is the thing that creeps me out the most. Like, you know, in these circumstances where you just fully just like you know something's chasing you and it's really like <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> okay, here I am. There we go. Let's get out of here. Do you see yourself? I do. That's you from my point of view. Did you feel anything else? Yes. Afraid. They are no longer human. <gasps> oh! Be careful. It will be a while until you can move freely. Do you think she's Follow me. human as well? I don't know. She seems to, to, to know a lot. Yeah, she knows an awful lot. Maybe she's like a ghostbuster. Trained in the arts. Now she's going to say, stop. Wait here. Okay, there you go. Come over when I call you. Okay, keep quiet so we can hear her. I'm concentrating on our surroundings. So I can't watch over you the whole time. Eventually, you'll be able to feel me calling you. Okay. To eavesdrop. Oh, I see. Ah. Okay, I'm following her. That's cool, isn't it? Okay, we're in her eyes. She can see me. Oh, a body. Oh, come here now. Yeah, oh, come here now. I'm coming. Oh. Where's she gone? 
Where did you go? That way, that way, that way. Got her. I got you now. Oh, that was scary. Mike in Famous says the creepiest thing ever is Mr. X's footsteps. His footsteps are so well implemented in Resi 2. Yeah. Okay, let's go. This go lady's. On, I'm glad she's here. I would be like, oh. Goodness. I was gonna say she's finally giving me some comfort right now. Yeah. Are we done. However, using a gun in the dark will decrease accuracy. <gasps> oh god, where have you gone? It's Arco! Ah, come back! Come back! It's Arco! I'm running into the wall! It's Arco, please! Come back! Oh my it's god, she's voice! It's Arco, please! <laughs> it's Arco, no! Can you look at her vision? Look at her vision! <gasps> oh yeah, that's a really good idea. Okay, she's over there. She's somewhere there. She's somewhere in front of us. Right here. <gasps> Maybe she's gone up these ladders. Almighty Polar Bear says we need a full stream of each of these games. Oh, yeah. If only, if only we had the time. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God! Oh the, my God! There's a paddy up there. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> well, she's not up there. <laughs> Why? Oh my. God. Fully was hunting you down. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't like that. Mission failed, thanks. <laughs> do you have to do the whole look into my eyes thing again? Yeah, that's okay. Look into my eyes. I'm very practiced at it now. <laughs> Kane Woolley says this game is almost as scary as Rob when playing Fall Guys. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. <laughs> Uh, Cosmic Baller says, waiting for jump scare. There's, I can imagine there's going to be many sort of like... What well, do you think this is more of a jump scary horror or like a puzzly... I don't know, it, it has like jump scares in the fact that sometimes you notice an enemy's looking at you, so you're like, oh goodness, that's scary, or you like, you bumble into one in the dark. It's not like a... Oh, Israel Hansen. <laughs> Ash and Rosie, could we please have more Murder House? I absolutely would love that. Didn't you finish? Didn't you carry on Murder House without no, me? You I, didn't. I haven't finished it. <gasps> She's waiting for me. We should do just like a puppet combo stream. Yes. Wait, what's a puppet combo stream? Puppet combos are uh, like people who made Murder House and they've got fewer than my Oh, games. I see. Yes. Yes. I'd so be up for that. Hell yeah. I had a great time with Murder House. I'd love to see it again. Yeah, for sure. He's just waiting for it to move. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Off she goes. And she looks at the man for us and says, go away. Okay, here I come. Here I go. Here I go. Here I, here I go. Yo. Let's go. And she's off. I don't know where she goes in the dark. That's the one thing we've got to figure out. So we go down here. We do some crouching. Uh, Garrick McFarlane says, Good morning. Good afternoon. What's all this yeah. then? Hello. Welcome to the stream. Hiya. This is the PlayStation Plus um, sort of new service that's launched in the UK today. So we're doing a big celebration. I believe it's um, also in other parts of Europe as well. But we're doing a big celebration for it. So we're stream. Well, each of us have chosen a game to stream for an hour. I started with uh, Disney's Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue on PS1. Yeah. Ash is currently playing Forbidden Siren. I am. And then it's Rob. not forbidden. It's not forbidden. And then Rob will be coming uh, as well later on to show you what game he chose. And also, if you would like to join in on the celebrations at the moment, uh, we're trying to, you know, just. Just encourage a good old PS Plus party. So if you do, oh my gosh! Shot. Come on. No. 
They can't see me in here. Surely. Where is she? I was gonna say though, if you share a screenshot with oh, hashtag PS Plus Party, then your screenshot might be shown in the intervals between when we're switching who's playing and whatnot. And also it's just lovely to join in on the party in general. Okay. No! Why? I don't wanna shout. No. Ah! Wait, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to climb on her. Or me. I'm trying to climb somewhere. Let's climb up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Here. Hang on, she's moved now. Maybe you can... I think I just... Yeah, here we go. I there go we up. go. She just had to get out of the way. And then I can pull her up. Come on, then. Let's see. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here there she is. Are. Come on. Up here, my dear. Oh, I probably yeeted her up then. Over here. Let's menu and press the square button for more detailed instructions. Here we go. Here Whoa. we go. <gasps> oh, all of my buttons. Cool. Button, button, button. Torch, list, search, crouch. Yeah, nice. So you just full on got like lip bottle there? Yeah. But you have to make sure you're hydrated. Where have you gone, Hisako? Don't leave me. Oh, I think that's that bit done. Yay! Yay! Did it! Woo! No more look at me through my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish save? Yes. Making you a nice save here, Rosie. Oh, you give me a nice save. Nice Thank you save. very much. God, I'm boiling in here. I'm not coping well with this heat. Whew. Fully is a, a sweltering day. Oh, are we playing a different character? Oh, interesting. Okay. Maybe you're a bunch of people who were all on, like, you know, the same trip or something? Professor? Maybe. Professor? What is this place? Where are we? <laughs> I like this I woman's voice. I just don't get it. I don't get What's it. Going on? <laughs> I told you to wait in the car. But, but what's happening? What is this? Why is this happening? This is exactly why I told you not to come. Professor, we need to find the villagers. They must be panicking. <sighs> Please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start saying that. <laughs> Please what shut this? up. <sighs> Please shut up. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> From now on, you will do exactly as I tell you. What? Until I call you, keep your eyes closed and stay still. Do you understand? Oh. I'm nervous. <gasps> we get a gun! Professor, is that, is that a real gun? I don't know why her voice sounds similar to me. Okay, come on. It does, but she's okay. got like an accent, so it's like, oh, all right, governor. Say she reminds me of a character in Ape Escape Three, but with, but in Ape Escape Three she kind of does it a bit high, like her voice is a bit more higher pitched. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. You know when you just hear a voice and you're just like, I know that voice, but I could be completely so wrong. I'm supposed to concentrate and <gasps> listen to your voice. Me. Oh my god, already! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Miss, can you not see? I just got <laughs> shot. I literally just been shot. Be quiet. Can you give me a break? Here he is. Oh, he doesn't sound well, does he? Oh, something, something's up with his hand as well. Okay, right, we're over there. Let's wait for he turns around. Turn around. <laughs> Reload your gun again. Oh, he's going to see us when we run under there. Okay, right, let's go. Go, go. Oh. Okay, he didn't like that I turned my light on. <laughs> it's the dark! <laughs> Some next level sniper to be able to see me from that far away. Here we go, right. Lights on. Very good sniper. I'm running. I'm going ahead. Getting what, away. without her? Yeah, she I'm can. surprised he hasn't, you know, tried to shoot your friend in all honesty. Oh, what? Has she not followed? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, goodness. Come on. Ah! Oh! Oh! 
my mission objective. Reach road to Karawari with Yuriko Ano. Oh, where Ano? Ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a gun? Can I use my gun? The game hasn't told me how yet. <laughs> Skooma Joe says, There are many roads in life, <laughs> and they all Joe. originate from Ape Escape. But at the very beginning, I... oh! there was Ape Escape. Just leapt to a roof. Right, let's look in my vision. Right, he's looking at her. But where is me? Where is me? Are there no other visions around? In a... Can you look at her vision? Probably. Okay, right, I'm nowhere near because I can't see any, mm. unless I'm really far away. Oh, a little, a little piece of garden came out. Just because of some Oh no! Don't jump down! Someone's down here! Don't ah. go down! Oh no! It's all dark. Precious is. Precious is. Where's my friend? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hide in here, please. Can this I is a nice cozy here? spot. You know, you could spend the night here, just chill out, relax, have a breather. I'm scared. What's this? This looks useful. Radio. Only receive static. Yeah, but mate. Ah! <gasps> shoot him! Shoot him! Oh my god! Who's he? How do I shoot him? Tell me, game! Oh shoot! my god, he's in! He's in! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Did he kill you with a torch? Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, please. Oh, no. Just my, holding my gun like, don't make me use this. <laughs> Put that torch down, sir. I know you have a knife in the other hand, but keep that torch away. Right, let's have a look at how to use gun. Um, gun? Butter can... Butter. <laughs> Button configuration. Butter configuration. Butter. Battle stance and lock on R1. So battle stance. And then how do I use maybe... Maybe X. Yeah. Maybe, do you even do you attack? Oh, I've game? just changed it. Hold on. There we go. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Confirm. There we go. Okay. I love you can see the concentration in your face as you did that. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to mess it up. Right. Um, you be quiet. We're looking for zombies. Jellyfilled Panda says this game doesn't have voice command, Ash. You have to press shoot. This is how I stream. I just say things. Shoot! Shoot! Okay, come on. Come on now. Surely we can at least see our friend. Alex says butter configuration is important. The difference between a good slice of toast and a great slice of toast. Oh, how buttery do you have your toast, Rosie? I'm someone. I'm someone who, when the toast pops up, I immediately put butter on it so it melts. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm I like that. I like that. I have a friend who only will eat um, like toast that's gone cold a bit because she hates melted butter, so we'll only have like thick. So I can have thick, but like you know, cold butter. Cold, yeah, I can have cold butter, but my my ideal slice of toast, the one I have the most, is toast immediately up, slubber, slubber, slubber. <laughs> put that butter or smother that butter on, and it all melts. Put some marmite on it, so it's all still warm and and melted-y, and then boom, lovely marmite on toast for me. I know someone's up there, but I can't find him with my or their eyes. Ah! Don't look at me. Oh. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll just shoot you instead. Maybe, do you have to ah! turn your torch off? Oh, was it on? I thought I had it off. That was, yeah, that's know. embarrassing if it was on. Well, now you get to see your little blue light fade away. All right, less fade of the away. sass. I'm playing a hard game for hardcore people. I'm supposed to concentrate and listen to your voice. Oh, I can tell her to do stuff from oh, far away. Oh, that's probably when you have to shower. Right, where is she? Let's get my sight jack on her. Where is she? Where are you? Where are you? There. Okay. This guy isn't very good at sight jacking. Bismarck says... I I've just got shot! <laughs> what, already? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Should I tell you what I was doing? Why we keep seeing this screen is because moving the wrong analogue stuff. Oh, you silly sausage. What silly behaviour. 
Where's my lady? Come on. There she is. Got you. Uh, okay. Steve says, I have bread that we serve at the hotel where I work for breakfast. Oh, I work breakfast. It's just so good. Mm. Yeah. I do remember Sourdough that. Loaf. I remember working, like, you know, serving food and stuff. If there was ever anything that was untouched, but no one wanted it, like, none of the customers or anything wanted it, and then your boss was like, oh, go on, then you can have it. It was like, mm, best day. Oh, my goodness. There's loads of people around here, Rosie. Mm. And they've all got breathing to do. Oh, all their breathing. I think. Oh, there's another one. Right, that's four people, I find. So that's, that's as many buttons as I have. And he's still looking. Mm. Right, look away. Sounds like he's muttering something. Or just muttering in general. Oh, he hasn't seen me. Yes, I've mastered it. I'm a master. Ah! Okay, I've run into the other light. Has he seen you, though? Yes, but not enough. Haha, <laughs> you fool. Right, and then this guy's over here. Oh god, they're they're walking about, they're looking out for you. This guy's over here. Oh no. And my friend's over here. Come over. Come over. <laughs> Voice activate. Voice activate. Come here now, please. Oh, and this guy's walking around. Have you wanna have you practiced like trying to shoot or anything or there we go, there we, he's... Oh, that's going to attract people, but I know how to do it now. We're ready for the battle. I'm going right up this ladder. I tell you now, Rosie. Oh, Hob Italian says... Ah! Someone's seen me. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> was that yeah! the guy who lives at the top? Oh! Did you climb up the same thing? I thought I could sneak up on him. <laughs> <laughs> he's alert. He hears someone coming up those stairs, and he's just like, well, it's just me and them. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got two hands on a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it'll do. It'll work. Oh, I'm doing the wrong analog stick again. Here we go. Uh, go. Brian Tomlinson says, Hey, Rosie, I just got my first Four Guys crown. Congratulations! You hope you've had the... You take that crown and you love everything about that crown. It's so good to get a crown in Four Guys. It feels amazing. So big congratulations. They're hard to get. Well done. Right, I think <gasps> there is someone else. Oh my god, legs. It's my legs. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Don't worry. I know they're scary. You're looking through the eyes of a rat. I know they're scary, but they're mine. <laughs> Whoa, this man and his scary legs. Okay, so there's my lady. My student. There's the man. Oh, is she crouching down at the moment? Yeah, right, here we go. So I can run through this light now. No, what? You were looking away! <laughs> I'm really oh, <laughs> 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 well, what a sneaky game I'm enjoying it I am enjoying it it's like a puzzle game isn't mm. it I'm obviously doing something wrong so that's fine so let's turn my light off excuse me oh that's a really easy way of doing it there we go nice light off We'll check out the man upstairs. He's looking over there. Okay, so go. Go, go, go. Oh. Huh? Okay, so he definitely... Oh. oh! Where have I gone? What? What's this? Where am I? Oh, I bet someone's patrolling down here. There's red wall. Oh, my goodness. Leave me alone. Who lives down here in the red, wa in the red water land? I don't know. Will it heal me if I just swill around in it? If I crouch in it? I don't know. You, this character hasn't lost any blood. <laughs> he's got shot a lot of times. I mean, he's got shot a lot of times, but not cutscene shots. <laughs> okay, this guy's there. Look away. Uh, Miguel says, "Hey, first time catching a live stream. Greetings from Minister. Uh, sorry." Minnesota, hello, welcome to the stream. Hope hello. you're having a wonderful day. Thank you very much for joining us. I've just found a stream as well, look. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I mean, to your credit, <laughs> you have found a stream. Double a stream within a stream. And then here's some stairs. <gasps> I've made it to where I need to go, is that right? Have I? Have I? Do you need to tell her to come join you now? Come on. 
Why are you looking around? Listen to my voice. Come on. Shout. Shout. Come I'm on. shouting at you. Oh. Oh my god, are you literally going to shout? Come here. Come here, please. Is she coming? Come here. Is she on her way? I don't know what she... Are you coming here? Is she running into the rock and going, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh god, he's close. Look, close. I'm trying and it's really hard. I think she's struggling. Right. That's not my problem. Well, I mean, it oh, get back up there. A man, should we see if we can shoot him? Right, okay. Battle stance. Oh god, he was jumping around. <laughs> oh! Hot shot over I don't here. Think I don't think he's dead forever though. I think he's Hot only shot stunned. over here. Hot shot over here. Okay. <laughs> here I go. One more just to show you how much of a hot shot I hot am. Hot shot, hot shot. Okay, let's go, let's go. Mm. <laughs> Let me escape from here. Oh, here you oh, are. There she is. Right, she's come from that way, so we've got to go across this bridge. Let's go. I might have to shoot him again. Hot shot over here. <laughs> yep. Oh, I like his little... Yep. What are you doing? He's just Kick. breathing. Kick. That's what I do. Okay, up these stairs. Are you coming still? Are you following? Yes. Good. Correct. She's like, I'm not taking the stairs, I'm climbing. Oh, that's what's in me. Go, go, go. He's back up. Get back down. Hot shot over here. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Hot shot over <laughs> here. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> okay. Oh, the chat are loving that you've made it to this part. Well done, Ash. Yeah. I'm going to tell us to wait here for a sec because I don't know what's going on. So just start, wait here, please. No! <laughs> Get back up. Ah! Okay, right. Here we go. Oh, skip to the end has just mentioned a game called Um Jamalami, and I completely agree with that the second stage song is literal. Well, it's not really fire. You're putting out the fire, but it's so good. Yeah. Oh, excuse me for being all sweaty. It's fine. Sweat away. I oh, know it's just gross. I don't want to be sweaty on stream. I hope it looks like I'm glowing, like a nice fairy. Yeah, I don't. I see no sweat. From my from my angle, I see no sweat. Oh, here's someone. I'm gonna shoot. Come oh. here. Come here. She's after you. Oh, she's got oh, me. No. Get off the torch. Get off. <laughs> Death oh, by torch. torch. She put no. She'd put like a pickaxe in me. To be fair. I thought her pickaxe was in her other arm, and she was just sort of maybe she was choking you. Well, she didn't like me either way. Yeah, either way, she was not happy to see no. you. She saw hot shot, hot shot. Got to get in there first. <laughs> so One thing I don't like it's hot shots. Oh goodness. Okay, right. Do you have to do the whole thing again? Yeah, but it's okay because I have to do it. Some great. Simmy says it's okay. We're all sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> right, turn the light off. Run through, run through, and then we wait in the darkness. Oh, took that out. Oh, you fool. Why did you do that? Okay, we've made it across. Made it across and the light's back on. I'm going to go up here. And now I'm going to go... Come on. Over to me. Uh, Trey the Fatal Hero asks, What games are planned for today? Well, for, hello for the uh, the Fatal Hero. Welcome to the stream. If you are joining... Ooh, my voice. If you are joining us today... Then we, uh, the premise is that we're celebrating the PlayStation Plus new, the new service um, as it's launched in the UK today. Um, I started this little stream by playing Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue on PS1. Ash is currently playing Forbidden Siren. Forbidden Siren. <coughs> and Rob is coming up for his game of choice in around 12-ish minutes. So you have that to look forward to as well. Oh my god, Jellyfield Empanara said you're see-through and swampy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really mean. You're not swampy. Am I swampy? You are not swampy <sighs> at all. They're just saying that to to get under your... Oh, don't. I'm having a bad day. I'll watch this back and be like, swampy. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'd say swampy's a, com a compliment. Swampy's not a compliment. Hey, if it's someone's ogress, Rosie. Swampy, I'd be. It sounds like a dance move. It's ogress, I'm shrekking over here. Shrekking. <laughs> Where? How, what button am I pressing? Oh, did you hear that laugh? Yeah, that was a full-on little. Didn't like that. That was spooky. That was spooky. Um, oh, what? Ah, I forgot the button. There we go. Where is she? She's still there. Come on, I called you. I called you over. 
do what I say. <laughs> Almighty Ooh. Polar Bear says, I've been enjoying this. Thank you, Access. Thank you very much for your kind words, Almighty Polar Bear. And thank you for the little heart as well. Let me see this person down here. I'm going to get them. Come on, then. If you think you're hard enough. <laughs> I'm a hot shot. Hot shot over here. Now's your chance to be a big shot. Oh, oh, oh my god, she's coming. <sighs> How did she get up there? She's like, <laughs> you're a hot shot while I'm a whew, high climber. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Someone else has seen me. Run. 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 Oh, God, oh you're going gosh. back in the fight pit. Where are Oh, it's him. It's him. Oh, we know how to deal with you. Hot shot over here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Get down on the ground. Are you dead? For now? <laughs> Run away. I am so great. I am so great. SMRT, SMRT. S-M-A-R-T. Right, oh, we found the wooden path. Yes, the wooden path. The wooden path. Where is my what? student? Have you told her to come over here? I have. And Get over here. She's coming. There we go. There we go. Come on. And then I think, I think I've shot the... Oh, wrong way. Okay, that's fine. I think I've shot the lady that killed me last time. She so hope get back up. Yeah, she will probably be back up by now. But that's okay. Because I'm a hot shot over here. Yeah, she, I mean, she wants a bit of that hot shot over uh. here. She's like, whoa. Heard there's a hot shot in the neighbourhood and I had to come say hello and Aye. give them a big cuddle. <sighs> oh, goodness me. Someone's seen me. Hot shot stance. There you are. Ha ha! And again. Do you have an ammo count? Oh, apparently I do! Oh, oh no! God. Oh, no! Your Eat my friend! Eat my friend! <laughs> Your friend! Lady's coming as well. Oh my god, okay. There's an ammo count, everyone! There's an ammo count! <laughs> go! Oh my god! Go, go! Oh. <laughs> Why Wait. didn't she run? I bet there's a reload button, actually. I've just realised. <laughs> Hot shot over here! Hot shot over here! Hot, Hot shot. shot over here! <sighs> oh my god, that's brilliant. Oh my go so goodness. I'm supposed to concentrate. Ah! I'm just um, running around foolishly now. Oh god, yeah. please stop I'm shooting me. Kind of strange. No, I wanna leave. I've had enough. I've had enough of your nonsense. I wanna get out of this place. Right, that guy's looking up there. Okay, I'm going. Run, run, run. Steve run, also run, thought run. that we had infinite bullets. Wee. Uh, Mr. Futuko says, has it been said in game that enemies never stay dead? I don't think it's been said in game, but I think you like no. the, the police officer came back up after you uh, yeah. run him over with the truck. So I guess that's kind of the game's way of saying. Hmm. Yeah, plus they, I think she talks about you being full of the red water and obviously it's got, they've got it leaking from their eyes. So. Oh, is that what's leaking from their eyes? Oh. Mm. If one is to take context clues... You can't leave without Yuriko. Come on then. Uh, I haven't called it yet. Come on. Is that the way you're supposed to go to exit then? Maybe. If Yuriko ever moves. Come on. Come on. No, I've got to find that wooden bridge. She comes over when I find the wooden bridge. The wooden bridge. Uh, Shukma Joe says, see you guys. It was a fun stream. I always enjoy watching you all. Bye. And thank you so much for joining us. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or your evening. And um, hope you're enjoying all the games that are now on the PS Plus service as well. Bye. So where is... Yeah, I know. Uh, come on, Yuriko. Uh, Brian Tomlinson asks a question for you, Ash. Oh, me? Yeah. Who? Uh, the question is, have you listened to the new episode of the Uncanny Podcast? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Hot shot over here. Hot it, shot over oh, here. Hot shot over here. You come in. You come in upon the roof with me. Oh, God, they're behind me. It's really scary if they are. Stop. Stop. Stop with your wailing. I can't concentrate. Hi oh, and there's this guy. Oh, my goodness. Please hurry. 
Please hurry! Oh my god. Oop, slap. Please hurry, I said. Hurry! And now I turn. Hotshot stance! <laughs> if I've ever seen a hotshot stance, it's Oof. that right there. Okay, and then reload. Can I reload? Let's press some buttons and see if I reload. Torch off, shoo! <laughs> <laughs> Take that. That's a warning to you and everyone oh. else in this little area. All right, we need to find the wooden bridge. Where is it? Come on, milady. 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 A lot of people, I think, are joining and asking what game is this? This is Forbidden Siren. Yes. Forbidden Sweatron right now. <laughs> this is boiling room. Oh, is there someone on the bridge? Oh my gosh, stop. Stop looking. The man's back up. Oh go. no, it was the man coming back up. Stay down. <laughs> Slap. Do you think if you do turn your torch off, they have less visibility of where you are? Probably. Oh, but then I can't see. But then see. you can't see anything. Wherever Yuriko is, wherever she is, I really need her to come running to run me. In. She can join me in the well and we can escape in the underground well. <gasps> reload! I can reload. You can reload! That was... <gasps> do it quickly. Oh my god, does, that, does this mean we do have infinite bullets? You just have to reload? <laughs> Don't fall off the edge! No! <laughs> Oh my god, he's, he's at it! Ah! Oh! <laughs> go on, Ash, you got, you, go on, you can do this. We're gonna finish this section, that's what we're gonna do. Is this live jelly legs? I hope so. Live jelly legs? <laughs> jelly legs, jelly legs is, <laughs> is the username. Oh, it's the user, I thought they just called you jelly legs. Like. <laughs> Hey Jelly Legs. Hey slime. Jelly Legs. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a new nickname for Ash. Swampy. I can't believe we've been Amar swampy. says, reload, rejoice, rejoice. Everyone's loving that we can reload. Go, go, go. Head into Karuwari with Yuriko. Let's go. On a little fun trip. And we're gonna reload. Once I find the bridge again, where is it in the dark? I cannot see. It feels like a large park. Oh my god, that guy's gonna shoot me with his gun. He missed though. Ha -ha. Because I'm a hot shot. I am a hot shot. And I'm on the run. Do 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 with my jelly legs. Oh. Can't leave. Okay, but we know this is the place. Do you remember how to get here? No. <laughs> Can you call her from here? Do you think she'll? She she just doesn't listen. I I say come here, and then I have to go and find the wooden bridge, and then she comes over. But if we go upstairs, up. No no no! I want you to jump. Okay, that's fine. I'll find you somewhere you can jump up. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. I'm gonna find you a spot. Not this though, because that's where the yeah, that's shot where me. that's where the sniper's like, hmm, I have hands, you don't have hands available, but I do. Oh, hot shot over here! Hot shot! There we go. Down you go. Get on the floor. Oh, there's someone else around. Yes. Ah. Running around in a circle. Okay, and then. There we go, she's down. Yes, and I've reloaded. Oh, look at that. The the pristine timing of all that. Beautiful, if I do so so myself. And there's the bridge. Okay. I'm that Hannah says, you know things are bad when the singing starts. <laughs> yeah, literally, whenever I sing in a game, it's when I start getting frustrated. It's my way of calming down. That's how I got all the Platinums in Crash Bandicoot trilogy. <laughs> Right, where's my lady? I've called you over. You better start running. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, come on. Come on. Do you remember how to get to the place? No. No. But I know it's that way because there's two people there and they the people guard the path. They so guard. she should be she should be running up here any minute now. Come on. Yes. Yeah. 
There she is. Okay, come on. You're going to see me do some hot shot maneuvers. <laughs> now in today's lesson, yeah. we're going to teach you how to be a hot shot. Okay, up here. Is there anything in here? Can I open it? No, that's a vent. Okay, no worries. And then there's a light over here. No. Yes. No. Through the darkness into this corner where the man is. Pew! Come on. Whoop. Hot shot! Hot shot! There we go. Hot shot hasn't lost it. And then the lady is somewhere around here. Is the lady attacking your friend? No, or that, no. That was that was him falling on the floor. He was just being dramatic. It's fine. Um, okay, right. Look, okay, we know you're just gonna get back on your feet though. So come on. Oh no. That's fine. It's fine. I found the path. Come on, here we go. Oh my god! Come on, Ash, you've got this. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Where are you? Oh my god, where is she? <laughs> okay, she's <gasps> oh, here. Here she comes. Here she comes. Yes. Yes. yes! And that was Forbidden Siren. Well done, Ash. Yay. That was hard. That was good. Difficult. But so what's all this then? What's <laughs> like all, all, this all, this? all this? Oh, so it's... um. So okay, now so I'm now back to Koyo Yasuda and see their story, which is the younger guy with dream. the lady. Yeah, Am let's I see this. crazy? Okay. What do we do now? All we can do is wait here until Leader Makino and the others arrive. Leader? Is this a place of worship? I mean, it kind of looks like one, but it's different from the other ones I've seen. It may seem strange, but this is our faith. Oh, I'm doing the same thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the game's absorbed you. <laughs> it must be a sign. Outsiders like you don't normally possess the sight. Right. <gasps> ah! I'll go and see what's going on. Oh, what a gentleman! Like he has—he's he's had a rough day and everything. Sorry, book of deliverance, chaos at the end of time has been added to the archive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, then. Right. That was a little look at Forbidden Siren, which I haven't played before, and I enjoyed that. Like, I think it was a good spooky game and a challenge as well. Like, obviously, you got stuck on a few things. That's what happens when you play something for the first time. So now you've figured it out with me, you can go and blast through it on PS Plus, baby. Woo! Well, I have to say, Ash, I think Rob's just in the middle of something at the moment, so... Oh, okay. So what should we talk about? But, well, feel free to... If you want, you can just, you know, have a little, a little dabble of your toe in the water of the next level. Okay. A weird way of saying just, just carry on having a good time for a little Me bit. trying to bust out this room and Rob's like, no, no, spend more time in there. <laughs> <laughs> Cook. Cook yourself. Uh, Broil. Jimmy the zombie says, cutscenes have a very Fatal Frame vibe. Yeah, they've got the same, the Fatal Frame era is like in this. Because I haven't played Fatal Frame yet. I really need to. So that's why I was like, hmm, I think that's something that... Oh, Rob said around two minutes. That's fine. Guy de Sarko. Where is everyone? What's this? What's this? It's colour everywhere. Oh yeah, Rosie, you show some show some screenshots. I was gonna say, I'll show some screenshots then. So we've just had a little teaser into the the next mission. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go show some wonderful screenshots. Uh I th think I have a rough idea of where Rob got up to. Um, Ash, do you have anything more to say before I vanish your face? No, just... Um, <sighs> stay hydrated, everyone. Stay hydrated. It's very warm. Stay hydrated. Keep safe. And Ash, you're now going to vanish from the camera. Goodbye, Ash. She's gone. Oh, now Ash is out the picture. <laughs> <And> then <laughs> Can you still hear me? <laughs> yes, but not anymore. Ah! There we go. Now she's been. Now she's vanished. And now I need to do da, 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 the thing on the buttons. Hooray! Okay, so here's where we got up to. Look at me go. So this was some lovely water which Rob just showed. Uh, let me just see where. Okay, right here we go. So this was from Whitby. We did that one. Okay, right. So this is when I have a go at doing this. We have got the next one from Kevin Scully, which, you know, 
It's Ape Escape. It's Ape Escape, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, I might have mentioned it a couple of times here and there. But uh, Kevin Scully says, Ape Escape had to be the first download of the new PS Plus era. I'm eyeing up that platinum trophy. Sorry, big budget, triple A's, prestige titles. Your time will come. But for now, there are apes on the loose. Hashtag PS Plus party. Yes, all the apes are on the loose. And again, if you are joining, I'm so sorry that I didn't stream Ape Escape in my little section. But... But there might be something coming up Ape Escape related soon. So, um, so yes, be hopefully be excited for that. But Ape Escape, fantastic game. Thrilled you're playing it, Kevin. And I completely understand that, you know, you have to put every single game aside just for Ape Escape. Um, so thank you very much, Kevin, for joining the PS Plus party. Next up, we have got... Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. This one doesn't come with uh, any comments or anything like that. This is just a cool looking screenshot, which I'm trying to think where this is from. I think this is from quite near the end of the game, I think. I don't want to say too much because I think it's spoilery, but I think it's from near the end. It is. Yeah, Ash has just, just confirmed that it is. And uh, this is from... Hideki Riguya. So, thank you very much for that wonderful submission of Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Next up, we have got Kerm. Kerm, who has given us a lovely Death Strand. Look at that shot. Oh, it makes me want to be there right now. I'm loving as well that the chat is currently just going mad over Ape Escape. So, I'm loving that. <laughs> but this just looks lovely. It makes me want to be there right now. Just It looks cool. Cool and like a nice sort of mountainy breeze. So, fantastic. Thank you very much for submitting this one as well, Kerm. Coming up next, we have got... Ava, who, ah, oh, what an iconic shot. This is from Final Fantasy X. It's, oh, it's such a good shot. It's, um, it's one of those situations where I don't, like, it's essentially you see it at the very beginning of the game, but it's, but it's like, it's all your party's weapons. It's just so wonderful and good. And Final Fantasy X is great. And I'm very happy that you're playing it, whether you're replaying it or playing it for the first time, Ava. It's fantastic to see this screenshot amongst all the all the screenshots. Uh, and then let's move on to the next one. So next up we've got Stevie Houdini with Fallout 3. And Stevie just simply says, gaming. Gaming never changes, which I really like. I haven't played Fallout 3. Um, I haven't played Fallout, but I've heard so many great stories about it. I played... I think the introduction to New Vegas, is that the one with Liam Neeson in it? Maybe. I've played one where I think Liam Neeson is a voice actor in it, and I've played f some of Fallout 4, but uh, never got around to Fallout 3. So, Steve Houdini, it's wonderful that you are booted up Fallout 3 again um, with the using the P hashtag PS Plus party. And then, we, we've got so many wonderful screenshots. Next up, we have got... Joe Dameron, uh, who is playing The Artful Escape, and I don't know anything about this game. And Joe says, from The Artful Escape, seriously, people, you should play it. And f looking from the screenshot alone, I'm like, mm, this is kind of, this is looking like my vibe. Um, what's it about? Joe, if you're in the chat or anything, please, it's love it'd be lovely to hear what this game is about, or anyone in the chat. If anyone knows... Um, yeah, anything about I'd love to hear about it because it looks awesome. It's about going on a musical journey. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ash already knows. Ash is uh, join me in the, the void, the void voice void. You got to swap over, Rosie? Yeah, are you ready to swap, Ash? I am. <gasps> She's Rob ready. Right, well, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's, Rob, are you ready? Rob is ready. So, I'm, I'm, I wanted to have a go at pressing the cool buttons. <laughs> so, first of all, we are going to bring Rob back up, which is a vet. There he is! Look at that happy man. And then... Oh yeah, I've got to do that as well. There we go. Hello! There he is! And yes. then... Yes! Ta-da! And I'm going to vanish and Ash is going to swap. So goodbye, everyone! Goodbye, Rosie. And hello again, everybody. We are playing Dark Chronicle, which is one of my favourite PS2 games ever. 
Uh, it was re-released on PS4 fairly recently, and now it's available as, as part of the PlayStation Plus Classics catalogue uh, on the PlayStation Plus Premium tier. Woo! Um, I've got my save here. Have you been like, playing it? When I when it came out on PS4 like yeah. a couple of years ago, I did start playing it. Um, so I thought instead of like you know going through all of the intro stuff, I just pick up pick up from here. That's cool. And just jump straight in and forget having forgotten all of the controls and probably get annihilated by all of the all of the enemies. Yeah. 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 Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's do it. I gotta remember all the uh, controls now. Bunny Ho says it's the secret bean duo. Yes, yeah, the secret bean. Secret bean. Secret bean. Secret bean. Secret bean. Oh. Secret bean. It's been quite the. Uh, it's been quite the week for streams, hasn't it? This week. It's been a week, Rob. It's been a it's week. It's been a week, hasn't it? It's been a week. Um, so here we are. This is Dark Chronicle. I love this game so much. You play as um, Max and Monica. I think Monica's sealed away. I can't control Monica in this level. I'm going to have to remember all of the controls. You're going to have to give me a little overview about what the game's about and where so you are. I'm in... It's like a dungeon-crawling RPG. Uh, the idea is an evil emperor from the future is destroying the origins of all of his enemies in the past oh. so that they don't exist. That's smart. And your job is to travel to the, well, your present, which is the evil emperor's past. You've got to go and restore the origin points of all of these heroic things um, so that they can exist in the future and, and do battle with the emperor. And how that works is you go through a bunch of dungeons, fight a load of enemies, gather some materials, and you there's like a separate bit of the game, which is like a town building bit. Um, and so you have to build towns with specific buildings and specific people have to live in them. The idea being that that creates the butterfly effect that makes important people exist in the future so they can fight the emperor. That's the gist of it. Oof, if okay, that, simple then. If that then. makes sense, yeah, simple. Simple. So you're making towns for people to... To live in, yeah. yeah. Um, and so I'm going through these little dungeons now. This is like the core of the game. You go through the dungeons, you've got like a... I've forgotten all of the controls, Ash. Literally all of the controls. Is maybe there a I control should, page? Maybe I should have started from the beginning. No, I've just healed myself with some cheese. Um, <laughs> what is... How do I attack with the axe? That's block. No, I don't want to get on my ride pod. Ride pod! Oh my god. Maximilian! What was... What's hit? Why can't I just hit... It's X. Of course it's X. That's what it was back in the day, Rob. Yeah, I know. Classic. So, like, guard. That's guard. Um, what's shoot with my other weapon? Now that's menu. Surely there's a control page, though. If you go to the menu and the options. So there's, like... So that's my sidearm there. Look, that's my gun. Nice. Okay. So we've got a... Uh, not the ride pod, but I'm in it now. Woo! Who's that? It's just a baddie. Oh. I thought it had a name, so it was you, mate. I love the ride pod. Yeah. Trey the Photo Hero asks, is Dave also going to play? No. No, Dave's not here today. <laughs> I've gone into the ride pod again. The ride pod is called Steve. Is it? Genuinely, it's called Steve. Um, I don't believe you. That's what you guys always he's say. Genuinely, he's called Steve. I promise you, he's called I don't Steve. You. And look, you can upgrade him. So at the start, he's just like a bucket that walks around, and, and mine's got roller skates and two cannons. Look on the side. What? Can you customize him? Yeah, he, he, everything is customizable. Um, oh, do you have an outfit you can put on? Got a Maybe. Let's have a look. No, at the moment I've not got. Actually, yes, <gasps> yes. Yeah. So look, here's an alternate outfit for Max. Just nice. a green outfit. There you go. Can you eat that um, pink shrimp? What pink shrimp? The one right above where you're looking. Next that to one? Yeah. No, that's a bit of f f fish bait for oh. fishing. Remember I talked about this game recently. You can go, it. You go fishing in it. Um, you can. There's my aquarium. <gasps> Let's, have, Let's a have a look at my fish. Have I caught any? I hope past me has caught I haven't. Oh. oh my god. I've not even started the fish mini game yet. You need yet. to go and play. But you need to go do some fishing. Yeah, I know, but look at the water graphics on the aquarium. Yeah, like, the water's oh, really good. It's really nice. Oh, this. Wait, no, this is the breeding tank. Wait. Look into other tank. So I've not got any. The, the recreation tank. Yeah! yeah! Okay, there's a fish. <laughs> it's one fish. I've got one fish in the recreation tank. What about in the battle tank? Can you have battle fish? Few fish for amp parameters. 
Mo look into another tank. I don't think I'll get anything in the battle tank, no. If what, I am... a battle tank? This is where you put your fish if you want them to, like, level up and get stronger. To fight each you other. Can, yeah, because you can do fish races as well. I can't believe you're carrying three aquariums on your back. I know. In a dungeon. Yeah. So all I need to try and remember now is what the, the lock-on button is. That's the only thing I'm sort of forgetting, because that's quite important. So that's that. That's that. So that's... Block. Oh, I don't know what lock-on is, Ash. Well, maybe it only comes up when you're in a fight. Yeah. Don't be a mimic. Sometimes there are mimics that come out of chests. I hate it. That's just some materials. Some rough rocks. Good. Oh, that's nice. Can you get smooth rocks? There, okay, there's okay. a baddie. That's a camera. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture. Yeah. No. Is it not just automatically locked on? No. Okay, try triangle. No. Okay, try circle. It's circle! There you go. <laughs> How weird! <laughs> Why is it circle? I'm gonna get him ready. Oh, he dodged! Not enough. They're quite strong, actually. You want to you want to fight using like a, a variety of weapons because you don't want just your you don't want just your wrench to level up. Oh, does everything level up as you use yeah. it? Oh, this is, these are quite hard. These. So oh, I'm gonna, gonna ride one. Eagle in the corner. Beach rat. Oh, he's no match for Steve beach. though. Steve is so strong. Yes, Steve. Hunter crystal. Good. Love it. So, and also, you yeah. Pick up rocks, and smash them, and sometimes you get items from them. Rock. And in each in each floor, um, you can find a map and a key that unlocks the next floor of the dungeon. Oh, cool. Also, once you're done finishing off all the enemies, I can't remember if I'm far, far enough in the game yet, but there is like a little golf mini game you can play. Oh yes. <laughs> Uh, it's so good. Hey Rob, what's the the blue circle in the middle of that big room on the map? The blue circle. Oh, it's just like a, a pillar. Oh. Right, ride pod time. Come on, Steve. Steve. Who's name it Steve? It is. I promise. Did you name it Steve? No. Genuinely. No. There's like a there's an inventor guy who's Max's friend in the first town who builds the ride pod, yeah. and he's voiced by the same guy. Paul Eading, who voices Colonel Campbell in Metal Gear Solid, and he's like, "This is the right part." Don't overwhelm me with facts I've to take away from the truth. It's not true. Everything Steve. I'm saying, everything I'm telling you is true. And he's like, "I've named him Steve," and it's a cool cutscene. Yeah, yeah. It, I promise. Oh, yeah. And you have to fight an elephant called Linda. That's the first <laughs> fight you have. You fight an elephant called Linda in Steve. And it's epic. Anyway, if you've not played Dark Chronicle before, and the prequel, Dark Cloud, is also available as part of the PlayStation Plus Premium tier. Uh, if you haven't played any of those games, you've got to play them. So good. Like, they're made by Level 5, uh, the studio that went on to make Dragon Quest VIII, one of my favourite JRPGs of all time, and then Nino Kuni, which... I honestly think it's one of the greatest JRPGs ever made. So this is like a lucky thing, so I'm going to press X, and it's either going to be the angel or the devil, and a good thing or a bad thing will happen. I hope it's the devil. Yeah. Oh, ah! come on! <laughs> the coin came up devil. The devil heart maxes health. Oh, fine, That's not pretty good. Fine. I'll just eat some cheese. That's how I approach most problems yeah. in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cheese. I'll just eat some cheese. Don't be a mimic. How do you know if it's a mimic? Well, they'll just burst out and be like, Bleh! and then you have to fight them. I love, so, I love that just as a thing in like all fantasy, is that sometimes chests are monsters. Yeah. I don't. I hate it. So that was the exit of the level, I think, just there. What's that big shell? Can you open it? Open the clam? Open the clam? Actually, no. Is this the exit to the next level? Right, so what That's do I need? Clam? An obstacle is blocking your path. There's, an, Can there's you put a, a pearl certain in it? item I need. A pearl, a pearl. That big pearl at the bottom. That. No, it's not that. Pearl, pearl. You need what pearl? pearl? I don't know, you need a pearl. I'm just saying. Pearl, <laughs> I'm really annoying, sorry. 
Also, I can't remember how I level up. How I level up my. Chris West says the devil's name is Derek. <laughs> it would be in this game. Oh look, see. It's got no synthesis points yet because it's not leveled up. Oh, it's so good this game. So to make the stinger wrench evolve, I have to make its attack, lightning, and scale power increase. And I do that by giving it experience points and then synthesizing these like elemental crystals into it. So I'll give it some some whatever it needs. Attack, power crystal, etc. You'll see. You'll see as I go. It's great fun. I like the fish the most. I want to do some fish. I can't remember. There's an item I need to put in there, which I will find it's a in pearl. this dungeon somewhere. It must be a pearl. I think you're probably right. If it's not a pearl, then... Um, some teeth. I don't know. Oh, <gasps> hang on. That shows the position of every monster yeah. and bit of thing oh, on the level. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? There's also a button for me to sort of change the size of the map, which is another button I'm going to have to try and remember. But I've pressed all the buttons. I've definitely pressed all the buttons. Wait, there it is. There we go. It's the left half of the touchpad. Yay! So you can get rid of the map entirely if you don't want it. But it's very useful to have, I find. So there's another monster and a treasure chest past that past that pearl. So I'm gonna have to remember how to get there. So that's the way to the next floor. Yeah. I've got the key to it already, but first I'm gonna go outside and, and beat all these monsters that are outside. Outside the they, dungeon. Yeah. <gasps> well, not outside the dungeon, but out, oh, there's like a little stuff. there's a nice little beach area out here as well. Maybe there's a pearl out there. Maybe. That's what I'm hoping. I like the splish splash of his feet. Water graphics are really nice on this. It's such a lovely game. Oh, there's loads of enemies out here. Yeah, straight into it, look. He doesn't care about that. Yes! Oh, you geared that one up. Oh, he's mad, he's gonna be mad in a minute. So if all his red things disappear, that means he's going to go into like rage mode, which you don't want. You don't want that. Oh, okay, that's his rage. So my my um. The health is the bottom one then. Yellow bar is the health. The little red dots at the top. Once they're all gone, the enemy gets a lot stronger. Yeah. It's unusual to have to try and bad keep the bar here. high. I'd be so angry, I'd lose all my red beads at that. Yeah. Right, that's them. That's them taken care of. Not all of them, though. We've got loads to do. Yeah, just around this immediate area, though. But as you can see, I leveled up my wrench in that battle, so it should have a couple of synthesis points now. Yes, yeah, so it's got four synthesis points, look, which means I can put, I believe... All these words. Oh, it's hard. Spectrumize. Yeah. <laughs> so I spectrumize that. And now I can bring it over. And it's look, that'll make the attack power of my wrench go up, but it also use some synthesis points. Which you can see down the bottom there. So the attack has gone up, but I've only got two more synthesis points left. To build this up to the next level, it still needs more attack, more lightning, and more scale. So, I don't think I've got any scale or lightning, annoyingly. Oh, I get it. So, okay, you're making so the crystals into these. Yeah, so Sea Dragon Crystal. I think that gives me scale. So, I'm going to spectrumize two of those, which will give me a boot that will take up the last two synthesis points that I've got available right now, but it will boost my scale by six. And those um, stats there are like, you know, elemental power of this weapon. So if there's an enemy that's weak against lightning, for example, this will be a good weapon to use because it's got quite a high lightning rating. So if I do build Beast, up now... Beast, it's really strong with. It still needs more scale. So it's still got a long way to go before I can level that up into its, into its next. So you just got to keep feeding it power yeah, crystals. Yeah, just, just keep hitting and killing monsters with it and... 
What's that big glowing? Here's the map. Got it. Got the map. That's great news. Oh, yeah, there's another entrance over that side. That's clever. But nothing down there. You can see on the map there's no... Andrew asks what the name of this game is. It's Dark Chronicle. Dark go. Chronicle, otherwise known as um, Dark Cloud 2. I pressed the wrong button. I want to be in Steve. The Beach, beach rat. rat. Yeah. So go, Steve, yeah, in air quotes. Steve place. gets a little bit of a level up there. What's that thing in the This corner? is like a geostone, I think. So these contain, I think... Uh, data that you then take back to your town and they reveal things like you need someone who's really good at art to live here and, and things like that. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wait, hold on, wasn't this stuff done? Interesting. Mm. I'm gonna have a look. <laughs> it's really good, Ash. Okay? I, don't, I don't disbelieve you yeah, at all. Really good. Go, go to the end. Go to I'm the going end. to just smash that rock see if there's an item in there. And there was, look. Okay, you're right, very smart. I got an antidote drink from it. I hope there's a pearl. I just want to see Literally a pearl. Literally nothing there! I want to see a pearl. And all of these dungeons are procedurally generated, um, I think. So when you come into a dungeon, it sort of like randomly, randomly splays itself out. So if I came back to this floor later, it, it wouldn't be the exact same layout as this. That's cool. Wait, there's so even when you've done it, it'll regenerate? Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of replayability, basically. The whole point of the game, really. The core of the game is grinding, collecting materials, building towns, levelling up your weapons, inventing stuff as well. So I can take photos of things with my camera here. Mm. Um, and if it's like an ingredient to an invention, it'll save it. And Max can then invent things. That's cool. Like my aquarium. Was that an invention? Yes. So you have to take a picture of like a river, a window, and something else. And that gives Max the idea of, ooh, I can do an aquarium. There's a big cannon over there. Look, I don't want, I don't want to be in a fight with that as well as the captain can at the same throw, time. Can you throw a rock at him? Yes. Well, I pulled him now. I pulled him using, he's got stuck on the boulder. You Come on, captain. Fool. Come on, captain. Cheese him. And not the healing cheese, can't we? Oh, you electrified in there. Yeah, because there's lots of there's lots of electric power in this wrench. Some of that. I'm definitely going to need to bring out Steve for the big cannonball baddie that's over here. This should be all the enemies defeated though once I've taken care of this bad boy. Wait, no, because there's the pearl. It's the pearl gate. Pirate tank. Okay, that's that guy. dead. That was easy. Steve's Fine. really powerful, like with his cannons, he's super powerful, and he's running out of... He, he needs, he needs fuel. more weapon juice, yeah, let's see. Repair powder. Oh. Use on Steve's arm. Yeah, well done. Wait, hold on, click that again. Yeah. Use on arm, it doesn't say Steve. Well, it's, it's, it's not my problem if you don't believe <laughs> it's not called Steve. Oh, it doesn't say here. It's called Ride Palm? It's called Steve. <laughs> Look it up. Just Google it. No. I refuse. <laughs> I promise you. I promise. Hytem7 says, my resounding memory of this game is fish racing. Yes, fish racing's great. Yeah. Have I got, can I go fishing now? Can I go fishing right here? Let's see if I've got a fishing rod. I can't remember how far I... I must have a fishing rod because I've got some fish. There's my golf club. Oh, there it is. Equip. I can't equip. Well, you're not by the sea. I am literally by the sea. No, that's not sea. That's just shallows. Well, you can fish there. I think maybe I have to defeat all the enemies first, which means I've got to find a way to get past that shell. Maybe there's something you can stick in there that's already in your inventory. Maybe. Or maybe you missed something, but then it would show up on the map. Because yeah. you've got the special map now. I I can't remember, that's really annoying. Does anyone in the chat play Dark Chronicle before and can remember what I need to put in that shell? Because I just I just can't remember. Are you sure that big pillar is definitely a big pillar, that big blue thing? Maybe go and check that out again. It's definitely just a big pillar of rock, yeah. Oh, but, oh, I don't know. Just to, it's just something Just to humour you. What, what about will. that path that leads to the green? Maybe it's the level below on the next level. The green? Yeah, the green door that leads to another level of the dungeon. Um. 
I'm not sure what that is. I think it just goes back. Yeah, see, yeah, it's just, just a rock. Smash it. <laughs> Thank you. That makes me feel better. Good. Uh, yeah, maybe go to the next level and then you have a, a pearl you can bring back up. Lunar shards, someone has said. Rory Mc McDade. I don't have to. We got a lunar rock. We got a lunar rock. I don't think I've got any I, lunar shards. You definitely do, because I said that crystal, that big one there. there. But that one is, that's the gate key to get into the next, the literal next level. What about that green one next to it? <gasps> it might be that. Yeah. Come on. Barok10, look, said I googled it and can officially confirm that the mech is called Steve. Well, I, I, as till I see it with my own <laughs> eyes or ears, if I see it with my ears in this game, then I'll believe it. Yes, there are trophies for this. Someone has just asked. Um, see? I was planning on getting the platinum in this when I started playing it again. I'm going to have to come back to it. It's great. Really good. I love this game. It's so very gonna, chill. Like The vibes are very chill. I'm going to try the Lunar... The Luna Majuna, whatever it was called. <laughs> How would you know that it's that to use, though? Yeah. I don't understand. How do you know? Because someone in the chat said. <laughs> I mean, in the game, though. Oh, because it will explain it to you. Like oh. I just haven't played the game for so long that I'm, you know, I've forgotten most of the information oh, okay. that I would otherwise know very easily by this day. So once this is dead, I'm going to be able to play golf and also fish, I hope. Woo! See, it's my case saying Ash is just stirring the nest at this point. <laughs> Ooh, no! It's stirring the pot. Stirring the pot, yeah. That's it. All enemies defeated. Little celebration. Yeah. All right. That takes care of you guys. See, he's a sassy little boy, Max. The blue seal has been broken. Monica can, Monica can come out now, that means. Uh, the yellow points on the map are gates. Use a gate key to go to the next floor. Sfida. Sfida. Is there Sfida? There's not Sfida. I can't believe it. Why is what? there no Sfida? Why is Monica locked away? Because there was a blue seal on this floor. Just some dungeon floors have blue seals on them, which means... Because normally, you'd be able to, I'd be able to switch between Monica here and also Max. So Monica has like a magic bracelet which shoots out, well, whatever element you've got equipped. And also a sword that you yeah. can see. Uh, I should be able to go fishing. Can you just fish in this water? I don't think so. I think I have to go to the sea. I don't know why this feeder hasn't come up. What is this feeder? This feeder's golf. I thought I was at a point in the game where... Golsh. 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 <laughs> Golsh. Golf. Well, I might be able to go fishing. Let's have a little look. I'm excited. <laughs> you sound it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Let's put some bait on. Button. Put on fishing hook. Yeah. Here we go. It's time to fish. I'm excited. I want to see a fish. I've forgotten how to fish as well. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I think oh, I've got to wait. Nice noise. Yeah, got to wait for something to bite. <gasps> Did you do that? I'm just zooming in. Yeah. How do you know when a fish is there? Can you feel it? Because it starts to tug, yeah. Come on. Go on, bite. Just a little bite. Little nibble. <gasps> Doesn't look like I'm getting anything here. I might have the wrong type of lure on for this environment. You just don't know. It's very blue. Maybe experiment. Yeah. Use the pink, pink prawn, pink prawn, pink prawn. Sea dwelling fish. Sea. Oh. Oh, did that, was that, is that what it said? Yeah. You might be spot on then. I this is what they am. like. This is what they like. That's the sea. For sure, that's the sea. No! Come on! Fish! You've got to be patient. No, I can't. I refuse. 
Like this isn't like fishing in other RPGs where like just as soon as you put it in there, something bites. You gotta sometimes you have to wait for a long time. It's like actual fishing. Yeah, it's no joke fishing in this game. Excuse me, I'm trying a little sip. Oh, <laughs> that was a big pop. Excuse me. <gasps> Something's tugging, Ash. <gasps> oh my god. Get it! Get it! You don't want it, don't want it to uh, look. <gasps> don't want it to. It's coming. I'm going to catch this. Oh, don't oh, be so don't, sure. Don't, don't, don't break the line. Don't break the line. Here it comes, here it comes. Got it! It's a little bobo. Bobo! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! A tiny little bobo. There we go. Fishing. That was wonderful. Yeah. That's so now, if we look in the tank, we should see bobo in the tank. Not in the battle tank, because he's not in there. <gasps> oh my gosh, you can keep him. Where is he? Where's he gone? Bobo. Bobo. Bobo, please! Bobo! Are you sure you've put him in there? There he is! Yeah! Put him in the aquarium. <laughs> Spectrumize! <laughs> Spectrumize! There he is! Like he's tiny! He's so small! He's pathetic. Rob, you need to fill the aquarium, do some more. PlayStation Access says call it Bobo Fit. <laughs> Bobo Fish. <gasps> you can only name your fish once! Oh, Think carefully, I'm okay? Scared. Prisclean Bobo. Indeed. Oh, you need to change the other ones as well. You call it Bobo Fish. Um. How do you spell fat? <laughs> Is it F E double T? Yeah. <laughs> I, I almost want to say it wrong so then you can be like, oh no, I've named my fish once. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. Bobo Fat. <laughs> What's pr pris, pris? Pris Clean. Uh, that's just the name of the fish Oh, you type. need to name Sorry, it? You name it. <laughs> Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad loser. Prisclean. What are we going to call this? Hmm. Oh, I'm trying to think of a pun. Sorry. Why can't I... Maybe it's the other one, that one. Oh my yeah. god. This is... Can you not just go to the start and then they'll all jump in the spot? Yes, you yeah. can. <laughs> <laughs> what should this one be called? So it needs to be a pun on, on Pris Clean. It doesn't need to be. It does need to be. You can feed the fish, Ryan Hogan. Maybe we'll try that next. What about... Oh, everyone's saying Steve. <laughs> Steve! You can't name it Steve. No, we've already got a ride pod called Steve. Apparently. Fish Sticks is the other one that's coming up from Nightfang 12. Gary Fishman. From Anthony Anthorn. Name it Fah! <laughs> it's Poshima. Uh, Jay Khan says Prisclean the Crow, like Eileen the Crow. <laughs> name it Emergency Rations. Oh! I don't know. Elvis Prisclean from the Sarge 773. Mr. Clean says Dewa Nuvenen, which is, isn't that the name? Oh no, it's Mr. Sparkle in The Simpsons. Oh yeah, Mr. Sparkle. But Brian Tomlinson says, hey Ash, I just want another for crowning Fall Guys. That makes two today so far. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> Why are you apologising to me? I just enjoy it. I enjoyed that that way that was written. That was <laughs> call it um just like, like uh, a quickly. pickle, like a pickle, like pr like <laughs> like a pickle, please. A pickle. Yeah, call it. They call it pickle. A pickle. We just need a name at this point. Wait, what's it look like? A fish. It's called Pickle. Okay. That's no going back now. Pickle. Think carefully. Should we catch another fish or should we show some more stuff? Um, you should show some more stuff, but I want to see you catch another fish. Uh, should we put another prawn, another Eevee on? Yeah. Put on the fishing hook. I really want to play Sfeeder. I don't understand why it's not in this map. It's really made me sad. I love Sfeeder. It's my favourite bit. Do you get to play it in every dungeon you go to? Usually. You have to get past a certain point in the story to unlock it. I'm 
I'm sure I had, because I've got a feeder club. Um, there is more levels to this, though. There's a yellow and a, a green gate. No, the yellow gate is to move onwards to the next the next floor. What about the green gate, then? Um, I think that goes back. Well, that just marks the entrance to oh. this floor. Sorry. I thought that meant that there was like, more levels to this dungeon. No. Oh, something's biting. <gasps> attack! Attack! Oh no! I was so... That was... Oh no! Did you get really excited? That would have been a really good fish, Ash. How do you know? Because I tapped X and it went... <laughs> it just flew. Oh. <laughs> just leaving it on this screen. It would have been a really good fish, Okay, that. Let's, get, let's try again. AHB says, I feel like the next fish should be called Nathan. <laughs> I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Do you like the music? Um, me? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's very ch I love the music in this game. It's very chill. Just fishing to this. This is what gaming is all about. It all, mm, yeah. <gasps> Something's biting. Is it a good fish? Not as good as before. Oh, I'm disappointed. Oh, come on! Hey, you still got your bait? I, I didn't take my bait, yeah. That was a, the fish. Uh, maybe I need to level up my fishing. <gasps> rod. Can you level up your fishing rod? Okay, you need the yeah. most powerful fishing rod. Where is it? Where is it? It's there. I'm literally a, I've equipped it. Obviously, idiot. <laughs> Status. Fishing points. One, two, three. I've not really got any strength things to put on it though. Monica's default. I'll put Max's default on my phone as well. I just prefer that. Um, so yeah, I've got also cannonball arms. Look for Steve. Oh, nice. And some iron legs. Oh. Um, I mean, this is not a good fishing rod at all. Ancient sea dragons. Scale. doesn't have any scale. No, I can't remember. You could put some flight on it, I think, with the the windy one, sh surely. No, I think that'll... I don't know. I can't remember how you do the fishing rods. <laughs> I'll try and catch one more fish. I'll just be careful. Okay. <coughs> Eliza Farrow says, a bunch of levels don't have speeder in the Ocean War Cave areas. A bunch of them don't have speeder. Oh, that's sad. It's made me sad. So that's, that's just a known thing. Yeah. So maybe, maybe if we get to the next one, then maybe it'll be there, but... <gasps> Here we go. Just be careful, careful. Wheel him in. Get him in. Get him in. It's quite a good fish, I think. Very slowly reeling it in. Going against the grain there. Ooh, this is taking some time. Is it a good one? It's better than the first one I caught. You can see on the right that gauge. If that gauge goes to the top, then the fish is going to escape. He's been reeled in though. Yeah. The sun's coming up, look. Oh, wow, does the weather change? Yeah. That's so cool. Day-night cycle. We're going to catch this fish right on sunset. Eliza Farrell also says you need to exchange FPs to level up the rod. You get FPs by catching fish. Yes, I got a bobo, a big bobo. Big bobo. Oh, oh. my goodness. <laughs> yeah. That's a massive bobo. Big old bobo. Big bobo. That's, that's his name, big bobo. Put Big Bobo in the tank. Yeah. What if he eats the other fish? He won't. He's a nice Bobo. Oh. He's not that big. He's a bit bigger than the other one we caught. Name fish. He's Big Bobo. Hey, look, he the, the one we caught before was 38.6. He's 50.8 centimeters long. Mm. 
big Bobo. Oh, you've got Bobo Baggins coming up a lot in the chat Bobo as well. Baggins? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> I will always remember Bobo Baggins. I like how much room you have to give names as well. That's yes. a good level of yeah, it's good, isn't it? spaces. There's no messing around this game. Feed them. Make them fight. Okay. Oh my god. What? Oh my god! What? <laughs> what was the power of the carrot? How did you feed them? It's just a carrot! <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> there you go. Is that what fish do? <laughs> uh, what else can we Give them some them? more goodies. A Mimi. Bobo Baggins, this is for you. Go on, Bobo Baggins. Bobo Baggins has got it. What's that? That's, that's Pickle? Right. Pickle got it. Bobo Baggins needs something. You can have a Minot. Go on, Bobo Baggins. That's yours. Go on. Yeah. He's got it. They're all happy with that. Ooh, the nice little slosh of the yeah, water. It's that's nice, nice, isn't it? You can look from above. Can you go all the way above? No, that's as far as you can go. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Barry Best. <laughs> no messing around in this game, as he's named me a fish, Bobo Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> just me. <laughs> no messing around in terms of... It very much feels like when they were making this game, just people in the studio were like, I've got an idea. Should we just put this in the game? And they were, look at that. This is a... a peer, look at that, though. The that's, soft that's sunrise is amazing. Sunset. Sunrise. That's a lovely sunrise. It's amazing. How can you tell? Oh, the sun. No! Wait, it is setting. That's I thought, what I mean. I thought it was night time. Either way, the sun is transitioning from one state to <laughs> another. And it's lovely. I thought that was the sun. Look at that. You can even see like the light reflecting off all like the rocks here. Beautiful. It, I wanna it get, is gorgeous, like. I want to get to a floor that has um, this feeder in it. Your rod's proper swinging around. Yes. <laughs> Let's put the wrench back on. Equip. I don't like this. Hang on. How do I sort? There's like a... God, there's a button to sort everything. So it's all neat and I can't remember what it is. It's going to really annoy me. Just press all the buttons. Try circle again. Oh no, what have I done? That's Monica's equipment. She's got bread. Does she have a fishing rod as well? No, it's only Max that can do the fishing oh. in this feeder. I'll do another floor. Um, hopefully I'll be able to control Monica on the next floor so we can see Monica's skills. Ooh, o OP Mules 25 says select to sort. Select? Mm -hmm. I love how there are people in the chat who are just like, no. Yeah, there we go. Wait, that's not how I like it. I like it with the crystals down the bottom. Here we go. There, there we go. Sorted. Nice and neat. Oh, we got loads of stuff. Yeah. Will I we see any town building? In I this? can show you some town building for sure. I'd love to see what town you've got at the moment. Okay. We can have a look at the previous towns I built. This is like the second or the third world in, I think. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's where I entered. So I need to go through the yellow bit. This is like a. Actually, no, this is the third one. So there's like a forest, then there's like a, a valley, canyon type place. And then you come to here. So I need my lunar stone. Here it goes. So, that's every floor is like this. Look, nice. So this is what you know. Okay, gets so the it's end quite big. It's yeah. big, uh, and there'll be a boss there. Um, so that progress is saved, I think. So I can go there next. Uh, no speeder there, but look, it's got a. F you've got special goals you can do. So if you defeat all the monsters in under six minutes, forty, you get like a little thing. 
Uh, attack and defeat all enemies using only Monica's magic. And also catch a fish that's 46 centimetres or bigger. That's cool. I like that. I love having little things to do in uh, like optional objectives. It is fun. So this is the... So I'm going to go back to the hub of this world now, which is where I'm building my town. So this is Venicchio. This is... Ooh. I'm quite early on here, so I've not really built much, as you can see. Like, all of that stuff up there is, is just there when you arrive. But you can go fishing here as well. It's can so relaxing. Can feeder here? Uh, no, you can only place feeder in the dungeon, I believe. It's just the most relaxing game ever. The most beautiful... Gentle, calm, happy, joyous game, this. Splish, splash of the feet is so nice. Do you not agree? Me? Yeah. It's great, isn't it? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. No, uh, I really enjoy watching you, watching you play. I, like, I love things with loads of extra activities. I'm only winding you up when I go quiet. Um, I, I, I do like all the extra activities, like a golf and a... And a fish. I want to show you golf. Uh, you can see in the bottom left the little icon there. That's the machine that does my town building, and I can't remember the button to. What bit of thing? Oh, here we go. Left. Here we go. Oh, it's probably blocked for you because my face is in the way. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the town building menu. I've, I've forgotten all of the controls. It's not good. I should start the game again. Really. Um, nothing's working. Absolutely nothing's working. Right, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really don't. Downloading Geostone. Okay, Yay. there we go. So the Geostone I found in that last floor, it's downloaded a bunch of info for me. So, and also means, and now I can make an iron house. And now I can make the pier and a shop boat. And now I know that I have to make the Lunar Lab Foundation. And that I need to place eight blocks of pier parts, etc. Oh my goodness. Blah, 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 blah. So many things. Yeah. So here's the analysis, look. So in the future, the Lunar Lab will be here. Okay. Um, and the Lunar Lab is, is key. It's where loads of scientific research happens in the future that in, aids in the fight against Emperor Griffin. He's like the evil bad guy. Um, but Emperor Griffin has traveled back in time and destroyed the origin point of the Lunar Lab. For the Lunar Lab to exist again, I have to build a town here, which must consist of eight blocks of pier parts, something else that we don't know yet, and have 30 culture points around this town. Mm. So I'm going to place, I'm going to make some, some pier parts, I think. That's what I'm going to try. Pier. Uh, how many rolling logs have I got? So I need to make eight in total. Yes. Make them. Yes. Made eight pier parts. Cool. So now I can place those somewhere. Okay, there's one. <laughs> Your silence <laughs> speaks louder I'm than I'm watching. I'm sorry. I'm watching. The, the heat has <laughs> totally baked my brain. I'm oh, just having right. a, good, a good look. <laughs> so, hope, uh, this should, once I've placed all eight of these, it should... Oh, that wasn't perfectly straight. That's really oh, annoying. Oh, you got to undo Wait, 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 wait. Undo. Yeah. Magnet on. That looks straight when you first... Ooh, oh, oh god, no, I can see it. That's good. It's not perfect, though. It's actually not perfect. It's slightly off. I mean, it'll do. Oof. If you say so. Ryan Hogan says, is there a time limit to build all the buildings or can you explore to your heart's content? You can explore to your heart's content. So I'm just going to place all of my pier parts that I've got. And we should then see... I think this is going to be eight, isn't it? Yes, that's all the pier parts I've got. Nice. So now when we go to analysis, you can see that. Let's lit up, look. So one of the conditions for the Lunar Lab Yay! existing in the future has been successfully completed, um, which is cool. Oh my gosh, you're on now, it as well. Can you do some fishing off it? Yep. You can indeed. This game was so far ahead of its time, I swear. Honestly, it's really impressive. Like, what what console was it on? PS2. Man, it looks really good. 
<laughs> Chris West says, it'll do is not what you want to hear from a builder. That's what you get from me. It'll do. Here's the lovely fishing music. Look at this. Yeah, you Beautiful. Gotta, gotta go out far this one. You'll throw it as far as possible. Wait, shall I, shall I level up my fishing rod? Yeah, if you can. Exchange fishing points. You can exchange FPs to raise ability points. 100 FPs will raise one ability, one point. Oof. Wow, I can raise one ability by one point. Necessary for reeling in the big ones. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, come on. Wait, 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 wait. What? Raise it. I'm trying. Raise it. Raise it. That's what I was... Yeah. There we go. Nice. That's locked here. Locked here. So you just got to... To get fishing points, you just got to catch fish. Keep fishing. Level up your rod. Lift a little. It's Bloop. a lovely sound, isn't it? Bloop. Just a few of them. Oh, th honestly, this music is bringing, it's just, wa uh, like, uh, so many memories are just washing back. Here we go, here we go. Here we are. Is it? <laughs> oh, it's going! Catch it! Catch it! It's all right, it's right. Oh, my God. It's okay. a big, it's, a, it's, it's good. That's, it's a good that's, fish. Yeah, that's, that strength point came in use. Yeah. It's going to be a, a, a gentle, careful battle, this. But we will get him. Take your time. When the arrow goes up, is do you have to do the opposite yeah, way? Yeah, the opposite way. So the fish is pulling in a certain direction, trying to get off the the line. As as the oh, that was so close then. Trixie, it's a strong fish. This. Ooh, what if it's another bobo? Then it's going to be a big bobo. <gasps> come on. We've earned you. Come on. It's all right. Just just must just be careful. Just be careful. You got it, Rob. Oh. Does it come up automatically? Yeah, once you get it to like when it's ready. just under two meters, you need to get it. <gasps> oh, we've got it! Ah! <laughs> bon! <It's> <laughs> bon! <laughs> 58 fishing points, look as well for that. Yeah. That's a big old fish. That's a bon. Put bon in the pot, put bon in the pot and name him. What should we call bon? What should we call bon? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at bon. It's huge! Yeah, look at his goofy face! <laughs> <laughs> you should seriously play this game, Ash. I think you'd really like it. I love stuff like this. I do like stuff like this. I do love a little fish. What do you think Bon likes to eat? A um, carrot? Batan. A batan. I don't know what a batan is, but a batan. Bon. He got oh, it. It's a little um, cricket. Mimi. Oh my gosh, everyone wants you to call it Bon Jovi. No. Carrot, let's see if this makes them change bon gender Weasley. again. Bon <laughs> Weasley. It does a carrot. <laughs> Look at the carrot. Oh, that's good. I guess, you know, you can feed them carrots strategically. Yeah. But you can also breed fish. There's a breeding tank. So if you, you know, if, you want, if I want to make some baby bobos, you just get the carrots in. The name James Bon has been suggested as well. <laughs> bon. Bon Appetit. <laughs> bon Jaw. You got Bon Fett now. Bon James Bon. <laughs> uh. John Bon Anchovy. Wait, is it nearly five o'clock already? It's nearly five o'clock already. I have not done anything in this stream. I mean, in the for Dark Chronicle. We've done some fishing. That was the most important part. Yeah, we have. Should we name Bon? Yeah. Pickle, Bobo Fett, Bobo Back. <laughs> bon. 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 Bon Ivor's a person. But can we make that fishy? Um, bon Bon Jovi is better. <laughs> bon Bon Jovi. <laughs> Stuart Christ suggests Bon 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 Bon. <laughs> After Ten the Brian Butterfield sketch, I like it. Tenzin Havoc says, Bernaldo. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Bernaldo. No! 
I've got it wrong. Back. It's hard, this. Bon. Now. Doe. Nice. Cristiano Bernaldo. I could name it Cristiano Bernaldo. You could have the whole phrase in there. Phrase? Name. Will this just delete? Yes, that's yeah. annoying. Okay. We're, I'm committing, though. Is there no H? No. Christy O. Christy R. No. Bon. Ow. Do. Yeah. <laughs> and three letters to spare. Yeah. Can you put some exclamation points in there? No, no. We don't do exclamation points. <laughs> Love exclamation Changed points. From Bon to Cristiano Bernaldo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I really want to show you Sveda. I think you'd like Sveda as yeah, well. Yeah, I'd like to see Sveda. Oh, I'll do it quickly. It is going to mean I have to finish a whole other level of a dungeon. Oh, is this the trick? To get to Sveda. Oops. Oops, yeah. Um, I could also show you moving to the future here. So you can like check on the future version of the place that you're in to see what you've built and what effect it's had on the, on the future. Oh, cool. And you do that by going through that little red portal up there, look. So Max and Monica, Max, you can see, is wearing a red gemstone around his neck. Mm -hmm. That's called an Atlamelia. And Max has a red one, and Monica has a blue one. And I think red allows you to travel forwards in time, and blue allows you to travel backwards in time. So that's how they go backwards and forwards together. Here we go. So we're going forwards in time here. This is like this area in the future. So oh, it's see, steel. There's nothing here. There's nothing here because the origin point has been destroyed and I need to rebuild it in the past. But when you build it all in the past, like eventually this area will just become amazing mm. and it'll be full of characters and secrets and stuff. That's it's, cool. It's just, it's great. What a game this is. So now Monica's going to take us back to the past using the blue at Lamelia. Skip to the end says back to the future. So now I think you can move just from here. So if I go to Sindane, that's the first level. Fish monster swap. I'll go Rainbow Butterfly Wood, that's the dungeon. So hopefully I can find a speeder level here. I can just blitz through it. There's one off the, the side? Speeder! So there's speeder here, not cleared. Yeah. So I can if I move here. So this is a, a level from earlier in the game, but I've not done Sveda here yet. We'll use Monica, because we've not used Monica yet. Come on, jump. Jump at me. Get that molar. I'm just gonna... Lorenzo Pierleoni says, Rob, would you say it's important playing Dark Cloud before playing Dark Chronicle? I've never played Dark Cloud, so no. Hey. Oh, I like this guy. He's more my vibe. Flame crystal, nice. I'll take it. Oh, really? Time Meadows says Fish Tiano Bernaldo. It's too late now. Fish Tiano Bernaldo. Mm. That would have been good. Yeah. Pop Italian says, is there a bug collecting part to this game? A what? A uh, bug collecting uh, part. No. Those are my favourite types of games when you but find bugs. There is in there is in Rogue Galaxy, I think. <laughs> I love, I love books. Rogue Galaxy is the game that Level 5 made after this and in some ways is the spiritual successor to this. Um, and that does have bug catching in it. Yeah. Much the same way that there's fish catching here. 
A little item. A little treat. Armband repair powder. Exactly what I will need eventually. And to Monica's repair your armbands. To repair Monica's. That's big. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's scary. All the different emotions there. <laughs> I'm surprised one has not jumped out already yet. I can't be bothered with all the rocks now. I just want to play Speeder. <laughs> speeder, Speeder. Oh, he does not like the magic that guy. Oh no, use a key. I think I've got a key. I'm sure I saw a key in here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Ooh! It's not going to be very good because it's early, early game at the moment. <gasps> oh my god, an answer drink is inside, but you cannot carry any more items! Can't carry any more antidote drinks, that's fine. Let's quickly mop up this down here. Bit of overtime now. Ooh, what's this? It's like a Healy fountain. Ooh, that's cool. Very useful. We just want to play. So there's the exit. The exit there. You've got a couple more paths to check out. Yeah, well, that might expand into quite a lot. Yeah. So I need to find the map and the magic crystal, which like plots the. Oh no, this is, I need to find a special twig to get through there. That's like the forest's version of the pearl. Uh, that wasn't a pearl, it was a lunar shard. Yeah, a lunar shard. So there'll be an enemy in here that will drop like a little twig, I think, that I can use to break through the spider's web. Chill, Crystal. Chill. <laughs> oh, they're so cool flowers. The board event says, does this game have trophies? It yes. Does. It does, yeah. And I'm, I'm now, now coming back to it, I... Maybe I'll start this up again and go for the... I hope you do. You've said it a couple of times that you'd like to. Oh, that got me then. They're very scary. When you first play the game, I've leveled up quite a bit since being here properly. Those trees are really terrifying. Yeah, they're massive. And they're proper grabby. I'm much too strong for them now, though. So it's, it's nice. Oh, there's like a, a coin. We had a devil before. I would really quite like... An angel this <laughs> time. There's the twig. Yeah. Slash branch. Ah. Uh, again. Oh, last time it did it, it did that and then flipped to the other side. Yeah. It's just <laughs> sometimes the game is like, well, <laughs> you're gonna get a devil. <laughs> oh, magic crystal. That's all the monsters. And okay, so there's one more area up there with a bunch of monsters clustered, and that's it. And then it's yeah. then it's feeder time. Woo! Get that slash stick. That's a handy stick. Oh, different kind of stick. <laughs> Monica's like, I can't use that, you idiot. <laughs> the other stick. Where is it? There it is. Nice. Wow, Ethan, great move, says Rob is the David Attenborough of video games, which I can only assume he means... You're very old. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted chestnut. I'm, so, I'm astonished that a mimic has not jumped out of here, I've got to say. You've had so many chests. You get mimics and you also get great mimics, which are massive. Ooh. And you have to, the ride for Steve has to come out when it's a great mimic. Yeah otherwise they're very dangerous indeed. Magic time for these boys. This will be the final enemy and then it's time to play some golf. 
Sometimes you'll defeat all the monsters and there'll be a, like a treasure chest off. left. Yeah. And you won't, she won't do the celebration. And, oh. that, and then you know that that treasure chest has a mimic in it. <laughs> Move Monica to no. the sphere. Okay, so, oh God, this is a difficult one. So Sphida works like this. I, this is, they've given me an impossible one. My <laughs> God. Um, so you can see there's a number four above that, which means I've got four shots to get it in the hole. Mm. Um, the target is red and oh the God. sphere is blue. It's so miles away. you've got to, you've got to hit a ball of the opposite colour into the hole. So the ball has to be blue when it goes in the hole because the hole is red. Every time you hit it, it changes colour. Every time it bounces off a wall, it changes colour as well. So you've got to use a lot of strategy to get it right. I, one, two. I literally don't know how I can do this in four hits. It's so far away. I've got. It's got to go all the way round here. This, that is. I swear it's luck of the draw sometimes. That's a non. That is nonsense. That's not doable, surely. It's not doable unless I can hit through the level. I can't remember if it, you know, if it allows me to do that or not. Well, I mean, I would it's need, all bushes, isn't it? I need to hit it like through the level that way. I need to go over those bushes. Just give it a big smack and see what happens. I think I might have to. First, I need to equip the speeder club. And only Max can play speeder, so I've got to switch, to switch to Max. Here we go. Yeah, you can go up and over. There we go. I hope I hope so. I really hope so. So otherwise this definitely is not doable. Oh, that's bad. That's not good. No. It's really bad. Oh, what? Let's see where we've ended up. Oh, that's pretty good. It's it's turned out okay. That's actually pretty good. So we need to get it sort of in that general direction. Just yeah. a little knock down there. Yeah, a bit high. A bit high. You reckon? No, 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 not. Jeez, not that high. As no, but just a little it. knock to. I don't want it to go too far, but I want it to bounce. Oh, yeah, okay. Really. Oh, it needs to be blue! Damn! Doesn't it change when you hit it? It does. I've got two more shots left. So I, if I hit it up high, I could bounce this in from here, Ash. If I bounce this in... Oh, I'll scream. I'll scream. Surely if it, if it doesn't... Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's not a very good shot. Damn. So this is going to turn blue now and it's supposed to just go in. <gasps> oh, 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 it's blue! Oh, it's blue! Oh, Go on, suck oh, it! Oh, oh, yeah! It's getting sucked in by the gravitational power! Come on! Yeah! Oh, oh come what? on! I've got one more shot, though. It's an open goal. Oh, come on. As long as I don't mess this up. I don't understand what this bit is. It's just like everybody's golf, isn't it? Yes! Yeah. Yes! Sphida complete! Woo! You get a little bonus treasure chest. What if it's a mimic? <sighs> it better not be. Can it be a mimic? That'd be quite funny. No. If you win Sphida. Resurrection powder, mimic. that's great. Okay, so there we go. Also... It's tasked me with catching a fish of over 65 centimetres here. Ooh, where's the water? I think it is a big <gasps> one here. 65 cm. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try it? We're here. Yeah, yeah do it while you're there. So Sphida's done. Fish goal, 65 centimetres or more. You should have tried for the time limit whilst we were doing it. Yeah. Well, I was trying to go quickly. I wasn't Not anywhere near quickly it. quickly enough. I wasn't quick enough. Almighty Polar Bear says Rob Speeder Pearson. Wrigley and Squirmy. Sea dwelling fish, don't want that. Carrot changes between male and female. Minon, just fishing bait. Too hard to eat, so use it as a weapon. <laughs> Tiny sea fish, like that one. Just fishing bait. Let's just use, just, just fishing bait. Yeah. Yeah, there's no like pool one. Pool. <laughs> No. I've got enough. I've got enough to go. Lake bait. Resilience means the lime won't break as easily. Grip. Luck. Success in fishing depends on many things. Um, should we go with resilience? 
Oh, you haven't had a broken line come up though? I think the strength. We want a big fish. Alright. Here we go. Is he? Yeah, here we go. Let's get rid of that because that's in the way. Here we go. Oh, I like that water. Potato. Oh, I say so. This is a little one. It's coming in quickly and easily. This one. It's not going to be impressive. <laughs> Half the size. Annihila! Again, again! <laughs> we need a big one. Put a different lure on. No, that's tiny sea fish. Have you got any, what, have you got any exciting... I can't remember. I, I just can't remember what's good bait, what's not. Here we go. This is such a contrast to the game you were playing. <laughs> <laughs> I was having fun. It was a puzzle. Here we go. It's biting. Something's nibbling. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Uh, it's not that good. Oh. Oh, it's, it's better than before. I don't think we're going to be 65 centimetres better. Oh, this isn't bad. It, it's a big fish, Rob. It's not bad. Let's not get carried away. Eliza Farrow says, go with the arrow. Really? In caps, twice. And, you know, they've known a lot. They've known a lot throughout this. They're right. <gasps> oh, my goodness. This whole goodness. time I've been doing it wrong. No, you know. <gasps> it does. It drives it down. Oh, my God. Eliza Farrow should be here streaming it. Yeah. I probably knew that. In the before times. That's not a big fish either. Oh. It's a bigger Nyla. Again, again. What should I put on? Should I put on a carrot and see what happens? The carrot is the one that it says on in the description that it changes it from male to female. Yeah. But it was also fish and bait, so they Ooh. might they might come in and they might give this a nibble. Let's see. Neo Cerberus says or Neo Cerebus says, Rob, channel your inner Jeremy Wade. I love Jeremy Wade. Have you ever seen River Monsters, Ash? Yes. I love that show so much. My dad used to fish loads. Oh, really? Uh, and so I've seen a lot of River Monsters. <laughs> and like, my parents watch stuff like um, Ben Fogel all oh, the time. Yeah. Like, just people doing adventures and looking at fish. Something, come on. Something have a little bite. I think you're gonna need something more exciting than a carrot. If I were a fish, I'd turn my nose up at a carrot. What's the worm? That one. Hard to grab. Let's just see. Let's see what that does. Shall I show you the king of the lake as well? Uh, what's the king of the lake? <laughs> I'll show you him to you. Okay. I'll catch one more fish and then we'll go and see the king of the lake and then that will be the end of the stream. There's actually quite a lot of good fish where the king of the lake is. Holly Heath 555 says the stream is making me feel better whilst I'm in bed with COVID. Oh, I hope you get well soon. Sorry to hear that, but I'm also glad to hear that the stream is making you feel a little bit better. Yeah. It'd be terrible if you like this to make you feel loads of. <laughs> this is making me feel even <laughs> worse. When will it end? I don't think anything's biting this. Ooh, so Trevor Lot says, use a smaller fish to catch a bigger fish, a wise man once said. Can you use the other fish's bait? Can you use your little Nyla? No. Oh. Good idea, though. Try the cricket again. The batan. Yeah. This caught the Nylas, didn't it? Yeah. We just need a big Nyla. A big Nyla, 65 centimetres, yeah. that'll do it. A Nyla as big as the Nile. I'm bopping in here. Music's gotten through my steely shell.
<laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, fishing. Fishing, hey. It's the way it is, isn't it? People just sit and go, oh. Here we go, something's biting. <gasps> okay. Whiz. It's, it's small. Yeah, you look like you handled that very well, which means it's not going to be exciting. A, a gummy! Gummy! Oh. We need a big un! Try one more time. One more? Yeah. I really want you to catch the big fish. We could be here for ages, though. I want to show you the King of the Lake. Okay. I think you'd really like it. I want to see the King of the Lake. But... Oh, Jenny thought the empanada is griefing me again, so in my swampy shell. What? Eek. <laughs> I was like, oh, I hope I'm not sweating on stream earlier. Because I was like, oh, I hope I'm looking beautiful, everyone. And um, Jellyfield and Panada came back like, yeah, you look swampy. <laughs> what a horrible thing to say. <laughs> it's all right. I thought it was quite funny, even though it hurt my feelings. All right, it's not a very nice thing to say. I do, it, is, it is sweaty, though. You're handling it really well, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just very cool. Yeah, ice yeah. cold. No, I, it's a little sweat box in here. Mm. Here, something's biting. Ooh. Uh, oh, no, no not mm. bad. It's bigger than before. I don't think we're going to be 60... I don't think we're talking 65 centimetres nah, big. Nah. But I reckon around 40, 45. Ooh. Maybe it's a 50. We're about to find out. Oh, 38. That's rubbish. That is rubbish. That's pathetic. Pathetic. Right, should we go and see the King of the Lake? Yeah, and let's go the see stream? the King of the Lake. Yeah. I think Rosie wanted to play Tekken 2. Instead, she just mucks around in here catching fish. Oh, I just like catching fish. It's okay, I can see her working away. Good. Good! <laughs> right, so, I think he lives in here. Oh. I've got to move to the station first. Oh, yeah. God. I wonder what the king of the lake is. I'm curious. Is it a big monster? Is it a big fish? Is it going to be something that lives by the lake? I don't know. There's so many options. Okay. Great fish swamps. Okay, it's a big fish then. It's a big fish. Is it like the fish from Resi 4? Actually, oh no. It might have gone. Oh, you can't have built it up like this. I think you might have gone, Ash. Oh no. This is where he is. Well, I must have got past the bit where he's there in the story. Is it an anglerfish? I like anglerfish. Oh. I'm sad now. This is where he is. Oh, but he's usually out. Yeah, he's usually just here. Can you fish in his lake? Yeah. How about you? Maybe you fish and then he comes out. I don't think he'll do that. Oh, I'm I'm googling King of the Lake. King of the Lake, Dark Chronicle. Except. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Go to images. <gasps> wow! What is it? King Marden. There he is. Which one? This. The purple one. Oh, this. Yeah. Okay. But I was like, what's this? Down and to the right. Look, that's the video oh, coming out. I would have liked him. He's good. I like his teeth. What a nice fish. Yeah, he's lovely. For everybody who can't see or hasn't googled. It's basically a fish that fills up that whole lake that's poking out a big purple fish with human teeth, which is quite <laughs> eerie, and a massive eye that chats to the two characters. Looks very cool, though. He's great. Um. <sighs> oh, Eliza Farrow says you, you might need a poison apple and he'll come out. <gasps> oh, yeah, he, d he, he likes poison apples. I don't know if I've got a poison apple. Oh, there's one, wait, there's one, there's one. Yeah, yeah. But this is yeah. how you this is how you catch him in the story. 
you catch him in the story. I don't know if he's going to come out now because it's you know the story. I've done the story bit for, for this area. Yeah, but surely he just wants to hang out. Maybe we'll have a look. We'll see. Do you catch him? You do have to catch him from to come out. Yeah, but it's sort of like a cutscene activates if oh. I remember rightly. I hope he's there. Just I do. Chilling. I think he's just gone. <laughs> you can catch like smaller versions of him that with poison apples if if my memory serves. This is a. We got a fish. We got a fish here. Ooh, We've got a fish. That's certainly a fish. Go with the arrow. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. Thanks. Got a fish here. For sure. In you come. It's going to be a smaller Marden, I think, like like the king, but just a little one. That's my prediction. You're handling this very well. Oh, that was dangerous. I went a bit dangerous then. Got a bit carried away. Come on. I will reel you in. We're gonna get this, we're gonna get this fish. Yeah. It's a little Marden, look. <laughs> it's Aww. a little baby. 230 fishing points for that. It's a rare, a rare fish. Put that in your put that in your aquarium. I will. For the end of the stream. I will. Oh, what a nice fish. And your Nylas. <laughs> there he is. Put in aquarium. I'll only I'll only put one Nyla in there. The big one. How do you know which one's the big one? It was the second one I caught. What about the, the one with the grumpy face? Yeah. Don't like the that. guppy you don't like. The gummy. The gummy. Oh, he's so little. Cute. There's Cristiano Bernaldo. He's very pleased with himself, look. That's a good fish. <laughs> We're going to name that one. You've got to name the Nyla and you've got to name... Oh, there was a good name for Nyla that someone suggested earlier. It was... was it? Oh, it was Nyla Thornbury. <laughs> Nyla Thornbury? Like Nigel Thornbury. I don't really get it. Have you, have you, did you watch The Wild Thornberries? No. Then that one that one won't sit well with you, I don't think. Um, Nyla... Uh, Jarvis Sensei says that fish looks like Rob's drag character. <laughs> <laughs> it does a bit. Um, I was going to say King Marden does have sort of like the personality of RuPaul. He comes out and he's very sort of flamboyant. It's great. Nice. It's very funny. Um, I can't think what to call the Nyla. Um... Oh, you got loads of suggestions. Nyla Rogers. What does that? What does that refer to? You got loads of plays on Nigels. What about Miles Teller? Teller. Nyla Teller. Optimistic go. says Niles Norales. <laughs> Nyla Crane. What does that mean? Hmm? What's Nyla Crane mean? Not sure. Lila Crane is in Psycho. I don't care about Nyla. What are we going to call the little... What's the, what's the name of it? Marden Garion, I think. Yes, Marden Garion. Hmm. What are other football people you like? <laughs> I don't know. None that uh, immediately spring to mind as a pun for this. How about Mbappe? 
Mbappe, carry on. I'm not a massive fan of Mbappe. That's the one I remember from the the f the FIFA. Yeah. I can't. Uh, um, I was gonna say David Tennant, not David Tennant. The other one, David Beckham. <laughs> About him. <laughs> well, I don't. How do you get Marden Garion into David Beckham? I don't know. Ma David Becky Han. Marden Targaryen. I quite like that. Oh, that, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Man of my dance, a swirling zero as well. That's also quite good. Oh. What are we going with? Marden. I'm going to go with Man of Mardan. I think that's good. Yeah, that is good. I have to delete all of Wait, 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 wait. We don't, might not have to. Crooky, crooky de Vulture says Gary fished. <laughs> yes. Man. Oh, this is difficult. <laughs> Need one more space. Yeah. There we go. Right, there we go. Flipping it. I've done barely any actual playing of the game. Yeah, it's but just it's been, been fun. Mucking around. I really love Cristiano Bernaldo. Yeah, that's the best one. Should we put a couple of them in the battle tank? See what yeah, they do. make them fight. Who should we f make fight? All of them. Can you put them all in at the same time? Uh, move, let's have a look. Who should we move first? Uh, Cristiano Bernaldo. Battle tank. Who's going to fight Cristiano Bernaldo? Um, Man of Mardan. Should we just watch them fight? Yeah, let's watch. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> can, you make, can you, like, shake the tongue or something? <laughs> fight. View fish remember. parameters. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they're yeah! going for it. <laughs> Cristiano Bernal doesn't care. Now Cristiano Bernal is getting involved. One of them's going to die. <gasps> Cristiano Bernal. No, no, Cristiano Bernal. <laughs> 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 he saved him. God, man of Mardan is... It's vicious. Man of Mardi, more like. Am I right? Is he okay? Might have to feed. <gasps> oh, no. Where is he? Oh, he? He's not dead. He's dead. He can't be. He's dead. He might just be in the menu. There he is. He's fine. Oof. Are they just going to start fighting again now, though? No, because they'll be in the recreation tank, I think. I hope. You bray. Yeah, yeah, they're fine. Oh, he's ill. He does need a bit of food, though. He's all right. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be fine. <laughs> you know. <laughs> he'll be fine. He's singing. Okay, I think that's going to be it for today. All that's right. That's going to be it for today. Um, so we've played Disney Pixar's Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. We've played Forbidden Siren, and we played now Dark Chronicle, otherwise known as Dark Cloud 2. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching the stream. We've been here for a long time now, three and a half hours. Um, PlayStation Plus, the new PlayStation Plus, is here in the UK. It's got a bunch of amazing games. Go and check it out. Uh, it's very, very cool. Um, we will be back with another video tomorrow. And then on Monday, we'll be back with another episode of our God of War replay series. Woo. Uh, apart from that, go and play some games. Go and play some, some old favourites using PlayStation Plus. There's so much good stuff on there. I'm going to go back and play Dark Chronicle, I think. <laughs> I really love it. Um, thank you to everyone in the chat. Thank you to Domino and Oliver Bath, our wonderful mods for being here with us this afternoon, and also Alex, who's been in the chat as PlayStation Access. Uh, we will be back very soon. Are there any parting words you'd like to say, Ash? Other than I was going to hit outro then, just to, oh, as okay. a joke, <laughs> as a joke. But no, no. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. It's been a lovely stream. It's been nice checking out some Forbidden Siren and also seeing some Toy Story and Dark Chronicle. I've had loads of fun, and I'm going to have loads of fun playing some more yeah. this evening. So thank you for having me, Rob. It's been nice doing some fishing with you. It's been very chill, and um, yeah, everyone have a, have a lovely weekend. Have a great weekend, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.